All right, everyone's name's in. Looks like we've got exactly 15. Um, so for, for those of you who've only just joined us, welcome. This is Blood on the Clock Tower, a big old social deduction game. Uh, we're about to play a humongous game of, uh, of one of the scripts. The scripts are kind of like modules. Uh, this is one of the more advanced one. Some might argue the most advanced one. Um, and we've got a bunch of veterans playing with us. These guys aren't just veterans. This is the London Blood on the Clock Tower community. Uh, these guys play regularly in London when, when the entire world isn't ending. Uh, at the moment, during COVID lockdown, they've been playing online in their own Discord server. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If, you've not, uh, if you're not familiar with Blood on the Clock Tower, it's very simple. Uh, there is a, uh, a small number of players who are on the evil team and a large number of players who are on the good team. The evil team has a team captain called the Demon, which in this script will either be the Zomball, the Poe, the Shabaloth, or, um, damn, I've forgotten its name now. Am I, am I losing it? Am I losing the plot? The Poe, the Zomball, the Pucker, or the Shabaloth. Uh, when that player dies, thank you for the subs, Jesse. Uh, when the demon dies, the game is over and the good team has won. All the good team have to do is identify the demon and kill them. The evil team, on the other hand, have to keep their demon alive while sowing enough confusion to get down to the end of the game. The evil team wins when there are only two players left alive and one of those two players is the demon. This is extremely difficult to do in Bad Moon Rising. There is a lot of confusion, a lot of drunkenness and poisoning. For those of you who don't know what that means, in this game, your ability doesn't always function properly. You can become drunk or poisoned, in which case your ability will not work. If you're a role that does something, it simply doesn't happen. If you are a role that learns information in the night, then I will lie to you. I'll feed you false information. So even though the good team will think they know a lot of stuff, some of it might have been interfered with by the evil guys poisoning them and making them drunk. There is no elimination in Blood on the Clock Tower. When you die, your role is not revealed. You still take part in the game. You still close your eyes and go to sleep at night. Most importantly, you still win or lose with your team. When you die, you just get one vote for the whole of the rest of the game. So it's quite common to see three or four players left alive, but 14 or 15 votes still on the board. Uh, I think you're all going to enjoy this. Uh, if you need to ask any questions, please do ask them in chat. We've got a great community here who are on the ball with answering questions for, for new guys. If you want to try this game out, there is a link below this video. <laughs> I appreciate most of you have heard me say that like 15 times now. But uh, but I really want to give everyone the opportunity to come and try the game out with us tomorrow. Um, I think we're about ready to go at this point. I'm just going to uh, drop into the town square, make sure I've got everyone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, guys, mate, just, mate, uh, okay. just dropping in. I'm assuming that, uh, that, that we've got everyone in here now. There's 15 of you, right? Yeah. Cool. Yep. yep. 15 in the get on. Alright, we are about to kick off. Uh, most of you taking your seat. All of you taking your seats. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to build the game now, and then I'm going to throw you all into cottages, and we'll start handing out rolls and running the first night. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in a moment. Uh, Hampswitch would like to see Shabaloth or Poe. Well, you're in luck, buddy, because the Shabaloth is my favourite demon, and this is my game, so we're going to have a Shabaloth. Shabaloth. Alright, so Shabaloth, I think we are going to have a, a Devil's Advocate, an Assassin, and a Mastermind as the minions. So Shabaloth, each night choose two players, they die, uh, but one of them might get regurgitated the next night. Always a lot of fun. Uh, Devil's Advocate, each, each night gets to choose a living player, uh, and if that player is executed tomorrow, they don't die. The assassin just gets to kill somebody once outright, regardless of what uh, what other abilities might be keeping that person alive. And the mastermind, if the demon dies by execution, you play for one more day, and then if a player is executed, their team loses. Those will be our demon and three minions. Hello, Ed. I'm assuming you caught all of that. Uh, I caught the end of that. I am just opening the stream to steal those rolls down and okay. catch up. Actually, yeah, you don't need to know any of this just yet, do you, anyway? Uh, I think our two so uh, we we do not have a godfather therefore we definitely have two outsiders those two outsiders will be the moon child and the lunatic so the moon child when you learn that you died choose one alive player if good they die tonight the lunatic will believe that they are the demon and I'll treat them as though they're the demon but they're not they're actually 
the lunatic. <laughs> I can't not put the lunatic on in the game when we've got like 70, 80 viewers. Um, so we need nine townsfolk now. Uh, we'll put the grandmother in. Starts knowing a good player and character. If the demon kills them, the grandmother dies too. We will put in the tea lady. If both of your alive neighbours are good, they cannot die. Very strong, good role in this. Uh, we need some more info rolls, I think. So let's put the gambler in. Each night, choose a player and guess their character. If you guess wrong, you die. We will throw in the gossip. Each day, you make a statement. A public statement. Tonight, if it was true, a player dies. You're getting to see now, uh, those of you who haven't seen Bad Moon Rising before, that while there is information to be had, it's, it kind of requires you to sort of shed a bit of your own blood to get it. It's, it's kind of rough. Um... I will put in a chambermaid. Each night, choose two alive players, not yourself. You learn how many woke tonight due to their ability. Um, I think we'll, we'll put in the sailor. Choose a player. Either you or they are drunk. You cannot die. Absolutely love that one. The fool. The first time you die, you don't. Put that one in. Uh, let's put in the professor. Once per game at night, choose a dead player. If they are a townsfolk, they are resurrected. And finally... Um, go on, Ed. Do you want to pick one? I'm a, I'm a benevolent god. Choose one guy out of fifteen. Yeah, choose one from the remaining. Uh, go minstrel, because in these with these outsiders, that's these. Uh, sorry, these minions that can be really fun. Minstrel, it is. Minstrel. If a minion died today, all of the players except travelers are drunk all night until dusk. <clears throat> all right, that's what we got. That's what we're playing with. Let's assign them. A junk. Okay, I'm assuming you can see that, Ed. Do you want me to quickly go around the circle, just saying it so that you can fill it in? No, it's all good. I'll ca I'll catch it. It's fine. You carry on, and I all will right. do you <laughs> Sound. Let's select three bluffs for the demon. Uh, so we will give them an outsider because there is a chance that um, we because we don't have the Godfather, so they could reasonably bluff that they are the extra outsider. So uh, let's put the uh, let's put the goon in. <clears throat> we will give them the exorcists. Uh, the exorcist is great because it literally stops the demon from killing. So they so um, on nights when people don't die, they could claim exorcist. It might be a bit difficult with the shabaloth in play, but that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> um, and finally, let's put in the pacifist. Executed good players might not die. So those will be the three bluffs. We are now going to throw everyone into cottages and hand out those rolls. I'll just give them a warning. All right, guys, we're about to kick off. You're all about to get moved into cottages, and then we're going to give you your rolls. Cool. cool. All right. Thank you. Good luck, my team. Good luck. Good, Good luck, team. everyone. <laughs> All saying good luck to each other. <laughs> How wholesome. Oh god, I've highlighted everything. I, I can't I need to learn to computer. <clears throat> Alright, we'll just wait for those guys to get in their cottages. So uh, the Google Doc sheet, the times are in BST because this is the UK Games Expo. You just want to find the button. <laughs> the, the button is, is if you're watching on Twitch, beneath the stream, there's a bunch of panels, and one of them says try it now, and you click that button and it takes you through to a sign-up sheet. Did you manually assign any of these, or were these all random, Ben? These Did are I miss... all random, every single one of them. I love the fact that Christian's the lunatic. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even <laughs> notice that. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Christian's kind of like the lead, Christian is the leader of that group. So when we tell him that he's the Shabaloth, he's gonna he's gonna love it. Uh, we are gonna tell him that he's the Shabaloth. We don't have to tell the lunatic that they're the same uh, demon as the actual demon, uh, but but we but we will in this case. Okay, let's go from top to bottom. Give everyone the rolls. Jeff, hello. Hello. Oh, I don't think that Ed's given me this roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been randomly assigned, so. Uh, I think you'll I think you'll be happy with it. You are the minstrel. Oh, okay. That's right. not too bad. Good luck. Thanks. James, hi. Hello. You are the fool. 
Uh, yes, and what's my role? <laughs> uh, Shabaloth. No, no, you're the fool. All right, good luck. Mooch, hi. Hi, hi, Ben. Hello, you are the grandmother. Good luck, have fun. Theodora, hello. Hi. You are the tea lady. Oh, okay. Thanks. Right. Good luck, have fun. Kaylee, hello. Hello. You are the mastermind. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Your fellow minions are Simon and yeah. Nadine. Yep. Your demon is Law. Okay. All right, yeah. best of luck. Simon, hi. Hello. <clears throat> you are the devil's advocate. Aha, okay, great. <laughs> Your minions are Kaylee. Uh, yep. And Nadine. Your yep. demon is Law. Uh, okay. Excellent. All right. Richie, hello. Ben, hello. You, my friend, are the gambler. Ah, excellent. All right, good luck, have fun. Ben, hello. Hello. You are this game's gossip. I'm the gossip. You are okay. indeed. All right, good luck. Thank you very much. Christian, how's it going? It's okay. Glad to hear it. I think you're going to like this. Uh, this has not been orchestrated at all. Uh, this is pure random assignment. You are the Shabaloth. I see. Your minions are Kaylee, Evan, and Oliver. Okay, okay. Your bluffs are Tinker, Innkeeper, and Courtier. I mean, you're having a laugh with one of those, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good luck. Cool, cool. Evan, hey. Howdy. Uh, you are the chambermaid. Oh, thank fuck, not evil. <laughs> Alright, good luck, have fun. Daniel, hello. Hello. Uh, you're the professor. Okay, then. It's, it's a good one, that. Have fun. Catch you later. Law, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Um, yeah, I think you're going to like this. You're my favourite character in the whole of Blue on the Clock Tower. You are the Shabaloth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, your, your minions are Nadine. Excellent. Simon. Yeah. And Kaylee. Okay. Your bluffs are Goon. Yep. Exorcist. Yep. And Pacifist. Now, yep. Law, there's only one thing that could possibly make this situation better. And that oh, is yeah. that sat to your right, Christian, is the lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you've planned this. Right, honestly, you can go back and watch the video. This was not planned. But the first thing that Ed said to me when he came into the room and looked at the thing was like, did you assign these? And I was like, no. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> ah, it's just like, yeah, somebody out there just wanted this to happen. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Okay, great. Great. I'm very much looking forward to this. All right. Oh, someone in the chat is saying the UK Expo games won't be streamed, right? No, they won't. Uh, all of the beginner games that we're running tomorrow are just private. We're not gonna, we're not gonna stream any of that. All right. That's not got anything to do with you, you though, Law. So we're gonna move on. Thank you, Oliver. Hello. Oh, Ben. Hello. Hello. Uh, you are the Moon Child. The Moon Child. Moon Child. All right. Good luck. Nadine, how's it going? Hey. Uh, yeah, this is my first stream, so not quite sure. Well, uh, well, don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll have a good time. You've got a really low pressure roll. Uh, you're the assassin. Okay. <laughs> low pressure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool. Okay. Your okay. Your, your minions are Simon yep. and Kaylee. Okay. All right. Your demon is demon. Law. Okay. Thanks. Right. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Dave, hello. Hey, Ben. You are the sailor. Oh, cool. 
Thank you. Alright, All right, thank you. <clears throat> wow, that took a very long time. <laughs> Oh, fucking mute. Um, yes, uh, it's amazing how long 15 players takes relative to like 12. You feel like it's more than twice as long. Yeah, definitely. So there's a lot of chatter in chat here saying, why uh, You know, wh why did I select those particular people as the, the fake minions for the lunatic? Um, so some people are saying, oh, they should all be good. And some people are saying, no, they should all be evil so they can play along. I don't agree that they should all be evil because once he figures out that... that uh, that he's the lunatic, which he will, because he's a good player. Uh, if I've given him all evil minions, that's unfair for the evil team. Um, I've given him one evil minion, which is Kaylee. If he approaches her, which I think he will, because they are engaged, <laughs> um, she can possibly lead him up the garden path, or she can tell him that he's the lunatic. Uh, either way, uh, yeah, I think it's... it's I tend to prefer to give a mixture of the two, or all good players as a minion. You got anything to add to that, Ed? No, I particularly like it because even uh, even if your your uh, minions have denied being minions, one of them could still be well. You could still be the demon, and they could you could have a mastermind who's deliberately throwing you under the bus to try and get an early mastermind win. So you can never quite trust that on uh, with players who are as cruel as that. Spot on. Uh, just thanks for the sub N one one I. Much appreciated. Uh, right, okay, we're going to actually do the things now, but first we need to make uh, we need to make some decisions. So, uh, Theodora as the tea lady is protecting no one because she's sat next to an evil player. Mooch, the grandmother. I think we will make Mooch's grandchild be uh, Ben T, the gossip. Yeah, cool. Grandchild. <clears throat> uh, we don't need to do anything with else. I think that's the only reminder token we need right now. Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, let's do this then. Uh, we've already given Christian everything that he needs to know. So we now move on to Dave the Sailor to see who he would like to drink rum with. Let's do this. Uh, I'll probably screw something up during the stream, so <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll have to bear with me. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Dave, hello. Who do you want to swig with tonight? I think I'm going to choose Richie tonight. I think that stands a good chance of being insane if he's drunk. All right, okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, we have a decision to make immediately. Uh, Dave has chosen to drink with Richie. We have to decide whether Dave or Richie will be drunk. Uh, I'm going to make Richie drunk because Richie doesn't do anything tonight and I am a nice guy. Uh, let's give Dave Aww. his immortality for at least one day uh, and we'll move on to Simon. And see who he selects to be literally unkillable by execution tomorrow. Yep. <clears throat> All right, Simon, who's it gonna be, Chief? Um, I will choose Kaylee. You choose Kaylee. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Moving on. Mooch. Hello. Who have I got? So, your grandchild is Ben T. Okay. He I think he's is... the one person I haven't played with, so go. <laughs> okay, well, there you yep. go. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's, the, he's Ben T. Uh, he is the gossip. Oh, great. Okay, thanks. All right, thank you. Right, where do we go now? Hello, Evan. Time to pick. Could I choose Jeff and Christian, please? Jeff and Christian. Looking around the circle here. Uh, the answer to that is... Ooh. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I believe the answer to that is zero. No, one. That is a one. Yeah, that is yeah. a one. Yeah, that's a one. <laughs> See, I'm already Eight screwing up. It's not one. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. So yeah, the reason I, I did a flubble there is because um, if Christian was actually the demon, then he wouldn't be he wouldn't be waking up tonight due to his ability. Um, because he would be waking up because he's the demon and needs to get the demon info. But because he's the lunatic, he literally is only waking up because he's the lunatic. Uh, so the answer is one. Got that right, Denied? 
You did. Um, this is why I need that here. <laughs> that awkward moment where I didn't want to cut in and say the number for you, but I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. Um, <laughs> even even uh, even experts got to learn. Um, right. So we've done Evan. Who's number six on the list? Uh, I don't that's it, right? That's yeah, it, we're done. Yeah. We're good. Okay, so uh, we kill a little bit of time, um, and then we'll we'll crack on. Uh, so I'll do the speech again. If you're if you're swinging by from the UK Games Expo, thanks for checking us out. We're currently on the Mac great big massive complicated advanced script uh, game. So if you're not sure what's going on, please do ask in chat. There was some really friendly guys in the community that will be more than happy to enlighten you and help you understand what's happening. Uh, if you want to try out the game, there's a button beneath the stream that says try it now. You can click that and sign up for one of our private demonstrations that we are running tomorrow as part of the UK Games Expo. With that in mind, I think we've done enough. These guys have sat in here long enough now. Uh, let's go to the town square. Yep. Let's get everybody back. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're just, uh, just going to wait for the thing to move everyone. There we go. All right. Good morning, everybody. The game is afoot. Good luck. Have fun. Crack on. Yep. Evan, do you want to chat? How can a game be afoot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that reminds me, actually. It's probably worth mentioning, but there are 15 of you, so uh, it's going to be difficult if everyone's shouting over each other. So you're probably going to have to exercise a little bit of restraint uh, when we're in this channel. You do remember that you can use game chat to ask people for private conversations mm. and such. Mm. Yes. Oh, fair. Oh. Ed, is it possible to have a quick chat with you? Uh, yes, just to clarify something. Uh, where do you want to go? Oh, he's gone. Uh, just, oh, there we go. I'm just going to say, last time I played the game with... Uh, Simon, the... do you want to chat? Last time I played the game with Lunatic in, I was a lunatic. So if anyone suspects they're the lunatic and wants me to tell them how to do a lunatic check, just come chat. So, Moon, mm -hmm. do you want to go and have a chat? Let's go, Dave. Let's go, Dave. Sounds reasonable. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Christian, do you want to have a chat? All right, Dave, this is how you do it. <laughs> were you in that game last time where the, I was the lunatic? I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got a way of picking. Were you the demon that thought you were the lunatic? No, no, we don't talk about that anymore. That was a long time oh, ago. Oh, don't we? Okay. All right, what are we doing then? Should we just uh, uh, swap some roles? Yeah, go for it. Unless you know something specifically about me or you've done something to me already. Um... I mean, might I'm, have. I'm, I'm not going to tell you that I know anything about you at the moment. Oh, shit. Have you done something to me already? Because you're going to screw me up before I've even started. Uh, so, no. you haven't made me drunk, have you? Um, no, I haven't, made, I haven't made you drunk. Okay, all right. Well, then, should we just do the three, then? Sure. Okay, I'm either the exorcist, the gossip, or the gambler. Okay, I'm either the innkeeper, the sailor, or the... Uh, what should we go with? Pacifist. Yeah, not that one then. <laughs> okay. Right, how many people do you think you can talk to in one day? I don't think I can get that through the whole town. Oh, I'm, I'll be, I won't even try. I'm going to tell everyone you might be the demon. <laughs> All right, cool. Bye. All right, I'll catch you in a bit, mate. That's all. all that's right. exciting. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. We don't really have anything else to say other than Oh, if you, if you, else. yeah, I know. If, if there's someone you want to kill, just be like in the chat. I think so and so is suspicious. I yes. think there's a hint that they're a good yep. assassin kill. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Thanks very much, then. Bye. Alrighty. That's fine. Uh, sure. Um, yeah, I've given my three roles. Uh, and yours is Sailor, Gossip, or Professor. That's fine. Thanks very much, Daniel. I'm going to head back. All right. Oh, we're sport for choice here, guys. I don't really know who to go and listen in on. Um, I suppose Christian and Richie will be interesting. Yeah, yes, indeed. So, yeah, I shall get on with my gossiping. Yes, you love a good gossip. Hello, you Hello. came in at the end of that conversation, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, I'm struggling to, to catch full conversations. 
I might, I might just wait and see who moves out of the town square next and jump in with those guys. Um. <clears throat> Everyone's just leaving. Uh, let's go back to Town Square then, I guess. Hello, Ed. I oh. have just been very much entertained by a conversation between Evan and Mooch, which pretty much consisted of Mooch going, so what is it? Is it a game where you're just going to shout at me and distrust me, or a game where you're just going to give me all of the information no matter what? <laughs> Brilliant. Ooh, okay. um, let's they are what... I'm going to follow Christian, I think, because this will be entertaining. Cool. How's it going? How's it going for ages? Not too bad. It has been a little while. Yeah. On the on the on the server. No, well, I say this is like the first time I've actually given it a go. So. Uh, yeah. Is there anything you want to share? I mean, I'm gonna trust you because you're the only person I know at the moment, <laughs> quite literally. Um, I am the gossip. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything you'd like to share in reciprocation? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I've only told uh, one other person so far, but I'm the courtier, and I'm going to try and hit either the demon, hopefully, or the mastermind, like late game. Because mm. you've got three minions, so there's a good chance of a mastermind. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you can stay alive, if you are the gossip and you're telling me the truth. Um, and then say some true statements late in the game, there's a good chance it'll kill evil because evil might be winning at that point. Hmm. Okay. Uh, thoughts on the gossip. Yeah. But you're welcome to just like get some kills out under your belt if you're feeling murdery. <laughs> or you could be lying kind to me of, for all yeah. I know. Just, just, you know, a little bit murdery. You know, it's, a bit, it's all part of the course, isn't it? <laughs> cool. All right, I'll go head back to Town Square. Thanks for the uh, catch up. No worries. Oh great! So that's probably a so good thing. You go for the Maybe you could try going for goon then. Yeah, you've not been here. I've bluffed goon for two games in a row now. People are not going <laughs> to buy it, but <laughs> we'll see what I happens. I mean, I mean, it's a whole new I'll game. I'll figure it out exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. Good to know. Cool. Sweet. See you Sweet. back in the town. Well, let's see what uh, Ben T and Moose talking about. And you said you were like a little baby. We're related. We're blood. Oh, I see. It's you okay. and me. We're in this together. Us against the world, yeah? Yeah. I'll be lying to people. I'm not telling them that I'm the grandmother just so that I can try and get killed at night. I, I, don't, I haven't played grandmother before, so I'm guessing that's fine. Because even if people don't believe me and they kill me in the day, it's not a big loss anyway, right? Yeah, no. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think you should trust me, right? Unless, I mean, have you told anyone your actual role? I have told one person, and that is Christian. Okay, well, unless um, I haven't spoken to Christian, um, I'll tell you, I've only spoken to Kaylee and Dave and Evan so far. But um, I think you should trust me. You can, you can kind of work it out. Um, just, I'll sort of follow your lead if you have any ideas for anyone. I'm telling people I'm the exorcist, the gossip, or gambler. Right. I think okay. they're de decent um, demon targets. And me kind of taking the gossip from you means I can hide your gossip a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah, I am. So I'm just uh, I'm going to try and do a couple of uh, gossips that mean that people don't die for now. Um, oh, I would kill people. Game. We've got 15 people. Start killing. Get get a kill and confirm yourself. But uh, let me give you the information I've got off Kaylee and Dave so far, because I might as well just give you all my information, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Kaylee said she's either the Tinker, the Tea Lady, or the Minstrel. Okay. And Dave has said he's either the Innkeeper, the Sailor, or the Pacifist. Right. And okay. Evan has said that he would only do one for one swap. The only thing that I think could be weird for me is if somehow I was drunk and you're not actually my grand uh, grandson. I but that can't. Be. But but you were like pretty okay with saying you're the gossip straight away when I said it, right? So I think. You I mean, I, I I don't see myself as a particularly <laughs> important role in the town. So. No, you're important. Go and get people killed. We want deaths. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Let's go. <laughs> say Very something, nice. get someone killed. I don't know what to say. Usually the first day, it's decent to say, like, split the town in half or, or go for, like, a little quadrant or something of people who yeah. could be the demon. Okay. Yep, that sounds... sounds yeah, because the demon can't switch in this script, can it? So, yeah. I don't think so. So, just uh... find that demon and claim that kill. <laughs> okay. Right, back to town. <laughs> no problems. Cheers.
work out how many kills you get so. in one night? I think it's 10. Is, uh, it, is it 10 or 11? Can I try? It's, no, I think it's 11. Nadine, do you want to check? Uh, yeah, I could do. Are we still... Yeah, are we still just yeah, chat? Yeah. Oh. Carry on. Uh, yeah, it's a 1045. We've got five minutes. Hmm. Here, can I chat? I think he's ignoring me. Who are you talking to? Ben T. Oh, oh ben sorry, T, I didn't yeah. hear you. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear that oh. either. Oh, okay. Sorry, who, where are we going? Uh, Apocatherium. Okay. okay, cool. Oh. Hey. How can I help? Hey. Uh, can I have three rolls from you? Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, I need to <laughs> need to bring up my uh, my sheet here. Okay, let's have a quick look. Three rolls to give you. Okay, so I am either the gambler, the gossip, or the courtier. Um. Okay. Would you like to? Return the favour. Um, okay, so uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm either the tea lady, the pacifist, or sailor, and I um I, I think you might not die, so I might uh, nominate you today. Okay. Why would you do that if you were the tea lady or the um what was it again? The innkeeper, the tea lady. Oh, the pacifist. I didn't say innkeeper. I said tea lady, pacifist, or sailor. Oh, sorry, sailor. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. No cool. problems. Thank cool. you. Nice. Yeah, that that was pretty much that was pretty much the conversation. How are you? Fine. I may have some information i will possibly not not tell you now but possibly tell you a little bit later okay then just to just to tease you with that well that, all right then that's all okay uh, all right, uh, then. bye bye <laughs> i to persuade uh theodora I, tr I tried to persuade her that we could just leave it a day because I'm the courtier. I don't know if there's a courtier in play or anyone else is claiming it, but um, I'm claiming courtier who hasn't used their ability and just wants one more day. Oh, okay, what if you, uh, I guess even if you nominate Ben, that won't work. Okay, uh, good. Yeah, I don't see how, okay, it's not a good start. Um, anyways, I'm the assassin. Um, if there's anyone you want me to assassinate at night, just be like, I'm suspicious of so-and-so in the chat at night. Ah. Uh, um, oh yeah, that's uh, fine, that's fine. Yes. Yeah, so that basically uh, I don't think we can that's... kill Thea. I don't think we can kill Thea because it just makes it obvious to me that it's, yeah. it's me. And in any case, her power it doesn't do anything. So yeah, no, it's yeah, it's, it's alright. Let's hope. I heard from Law that James is the fool and is quite happy to be nominated. So if we go big on that and hope that's how day one sorted. Uh, and then tomorrow, protect yourself and then go for it. And it, hopefully yeah, that's okay. it. That's what so I'll, we need I'll to get to James, the fool, James the Fool um, kill today as though a safe day one kill. Yeah, that would be good if we could. Fingers crossed. It is very hard to keep, keep track of chats. With like 10, 12 players, fine. 15, 16. Yeah. It's nigh impossible without compromising your own living input. Yeah, I think one thing you got to work, keep an eye on then is length of time in the chat. I, mm. I would say the, the these more recent chats because these the end of day chats are revealing because it is information poor, so therefore evil team have more information, thus have more things to discuss, perhaps. People are going to be dragged back any moment now. Mm. I've talked. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Too busy. Mm. Uh, have we got one more minute? Can I talk to Rich? 
you have literally seconds, so probably. Oh. As soon as it ticks over to 10:45, everyone's. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Town Square. <coughs> Nominations are open. I nominate James. Okay, was that Law? Yes. Law, tell us why you have nominated James. Um, can I start by confirming something with him, or do I just need to state? You can say whatever you like, mate. <laughs> sure. Uh, James, uh, can I be fully candid? Are you happy with that? Wait. Oh, just say Jeff agrees to it. Pardon? It's your accusation. Oh, sure. Um, so, uh, James came out to me as the fool. Um, I guess there's a chance he's the devil's advocate, but... I guess nominating him and voting for him, and he, if he doesn't die, is potentially a good way of confirming a good player early on. So that could be a good thing. Confirming is a strong word. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, yeah. yeah. Putting more likely to be confirmed. Okay, um, James, your response, please. Oh, it's my first stream. Please don't kill me first day. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. All right. That's Eight votes required if you want to execute James in three, two, one. Uh, this was his idea. Wait, wait, wait. It's bad moon. It's not a terrible idea to take punts at executions. Uh, my no was an accidental no. I just like to let people know. Doesn't matter. It looks like we've got a vast oh, majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just thought I'd say that I didn't quite click over to the browser quick enough. If that ever comes up as well, you didn't do this. That's overkill now. That's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven votes for James. That eleven is, is obviously enough. We probably should have kept it like <laughs> on the bar, right? <laughs> Fair yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I probably should have stood in my vote, but there weren't. There was many people. Be voting when I put my vote in. If that only matters yeah. if there's somebody else we'd rather go for, I don't especially right. know of anyone. Storyteller, could I please make a gossip that I am not the gossip? Uh, ben T gossips <laughs> that he is not the gossip. Yeah, Ben, I lost. got a whole I got a whole load of other gossips earlier. I will update you okay. uh, as relevant. Thank you. Uh, where do we gossip in chat? To say it out loud. Yeah, you have to say it out loud. Uh, I gossip that the demon is between Nadine and Theodora. Nadine, Oliver, Richie, Simon, or Theodora. Mooch gossips that the demon is between. N Sorry, was that Nadine and Theodora? Yeah, going up, ascending okay. alphabetically to right. Theodora. Thank you. The gossiping you're not the gossip is like some kind of riddle. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> gossiping you're not the gossip will only ever do anything if you're a cannibal with the gossip ability. It's like that yes. thing that came out, the the Pinocchio conundrum, whatever it was, where Pinocchio says this is a lie or whatever, I can't remember what it was. It's not a paradox, because no it's rules. just no one died. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you surely might as well just not make a gothic claim at all. Okay, well, anyway, um, <laughs> do we have any other <laughs> nominations? I think it's unlikely that you're going to beat 11. So with that in mind, unless anybody else nominates... Should I...? I, I'm tempted to nominate Jeff, but I don't think I will. Just yeah, <laughs> Good it's a big, that. it's a big game. <laughs> save, save everyone's time. Bringing the day to a close, then. In three, two, one. Okay, James is executed and does not die. The game <gasps> continues. Yeah. With... Hooray! Everybody goes to cottages. So some of you will have noticed there that several people claimed gossip. Um, obviously, there can't be more than one gossip. The reason that's done is to cover the tracks of the real gossip. It's a relatively powerful role, but even if it wasn't, you don't want the evil team to know anything that they don't already know. James did not die. That's because he's the fool. The first time he is executed, the first time he dies, he doesn't. He is now susceptible to death, however. Um, where is the full token used? Okay, you no longer uh, has the ability to not die. Take Devil's Advocate off of Kaylee because we're going to get a new one in a moment. Richie remains drunk until we get a new choice. So the first person we're heading over to is... Uh, well, a, a minion didn't die today, so Jeff the Minstrel is irrelevant, so we're going straight to Dave. Yep. 
Hello. Who do you want to drink with, Dave? Um, I will drink with Christian tonight. Okay, Dave drinks with Christian. So, um, to keep things interesting, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so that Dave is drunk today. Yeah, that Dave. one was a relatively easy one. Yeah, Dave drunks himself. Uh, okay, we are now going over to Simon, New mm -hmm. Devil's Advocate. Simon, hello. Who's it gonna be? Uh, hello, it's gonna be myself today, please. Okay, Simon chooses himself. Uh, that makes him unable to be executed. Indeed, that's the plan. Uh, all right, moving on. Thank you. To somewhere. There we go. Hello. Hello. Who's it going to be? Uh, I would like to gossip that Jeff is in fact the minstrel. Do you mean gamble? <laughs> Yes, Gamble. Okay. He's uh, here. So, uh, <laughs> Richie gambles that Jeff is the minstrel. All right. Thanks, Richie. Cheers. Down to you, Ben. Thank you. All right, me old mucker. Who's it going to be? All right. This is a tough call. I think I'm going to go for Dave and... Law. Dave and Law. Okay, thanks, Christian. You're well. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as the eagle eyed viewers amongst you will have noticed, uh, Christian, the lunatic who believes he is the Shabaloth, has chosen to attack the actual Shabaloth. Obviously, Law isn't going to kill himself. So, he's going to have to basically show Christian that he's not really the demon. But can you see any way out of it for him, Ed? Well, the thing is, if he's if he's found someone who can't die, which he can't have done, now I'm looking at it, because we've made Dave the Sailor drunk and the tea lady has got uh, an evil name. But if he had, if, if say, they hadn't executed Jen, then I would be absolutely abdicating killing Dave and then sinking a kill on James. But he knows he can't do that, so... Yeah. That's going to be entertaining for him. He's in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but uh, it's unfortunate. But still, yeah. it's going to be funny watching the penny job drop for Christian. So, from the spectator's yeah. perspective, it's awesome. Uh, okay, let's let's head on up to Law and break the news to him. Yeah, second up. He, kn he knows I don't know where I'm going. Hello, Law. Hello. So, uh, the lunatic chose Dave. Okay. And you. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um. That's interesting. Um. Well. I will, I guess, choose to execute Dave. And. Evan. Dave and Evan. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. Alright, moving on. Where am I moving on to? Hello. Hello. Hi, ben. Would you like to use your ability? No, I'll, I'll hang on for now. Thanks. Alright, thank you. Alright, moving on. So, just for the purpose of keeping chat involved in what's going on, um, obviously Law couldn't kill himself, uh, so he chose to, to kill Dave and Evan. Um, interesting that he picked one of the two. I suppose it gives him some degree of, it gives Christian some degree of deniability, right? Yeah, he can bluff that you know there's a protection and um, that a gossip killed, a gambler died, uh, like you know it could be a grandmother. The, like, there's at least arguments he can make now um, so he might be able to hold it on for another day it depends if he can kill someone that Christian wants him to tomorrow yeah um okay Where I mean he can now? also 
he can also narrow down his own bluff to goon um uh, so yeah ben has gossiped incorrectly so oliver has yeah oliver hasn't died uh so that's nine ten i can't see ten for the life of me uh, it's the grandmother, grandmother hasn't uh, died so yeah, so daniel daniel, <laughs> daniel has yeah, the fun game of trying to guess who to protect, uh, revive if he wants to. Right, I doubt he will, but let's find out. <laughs> yeah. Daniel. Yes? Given that you have no idea who is dead, <laughs> would you like to use your ability? No, thank you. Ah, oh, oh, you madman. All right, thank you. All right, and obviously we would be waking Evan up right now, uh, but he's about to die. Well, he's already dead, technically, so that doesn't happen. And I believe that concludes the night phase. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting one with this array of abilities. I mean, it looks like Simon's going to go for the com uh, confirming the tea lady bluff, um, which is great. Except that any time uh, my group has that, if someone goes, "I want to be executed to, to confirm a tea lady," we immediately turn to the other neighbour. Um, so it depends what this group's meta has. Mm. I mean, it will just look shady anyway, right? Yeah, absolutely. But we'll see. The play has to come from the tea lady, really. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, I think we've killed enough time. Let's do this. So up to the task bear. This thing can only move 10 people at a time, but it has to put some more wood in the burner or something, so we're just waiting for these guys to join us. The old internet steam engine. There we go. All right. We had two deaths in the night. Those deaths were Dave and Evan. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Evan, can we chat? Yes, I think that would be a good idea, Jeff. Back to the buddy. Uh, so, I've heard of a moon child. I think we can get the moon child to choose James to be executed today. I'd like to directly know your role, please. Uh, I am the minstrel. Okay. In that case, I need to go and talk with Kieran. I am the Chris, Kieran Christian. I am the chambermaid. I saw you and Christian on night one and got a one. Yeah. So I don't wake up. I am. I, I am the minstrel. But I'm so I'm telling people chambermaid, tinker, or sailor. Um, I'm trying to draw out what people are. So. I, I, I'm happy you tell Christian. I probably, probably don't tell everyone else. Because the thing is, one of the minions I'm, I'm in this game... I'm not telling anyone your role unless I feel it's necessary. Yeah, but but you, you are remember, one of the people yeah. I did talk to, so understand the biggest suspicious. Yeah. Especially uh, considering I'm yeah. one of the few people that could have checked if James was telling the truth. Yeah. Cool. Okay, thanks. Let's see what Christian's saying. Yeah. So it's kind Hi. of similar. Right, so... Yes. You're... You're one of my minions, right? What? I'm I'm very confused right now. Well, okay. I'm not that confused. All right. Okay. So, are you a minion? You're one of my minions. <laughs> I'm one of your minions, yes. Okay, good. Because I was... For some reason, it got in my head there that I was a lunatic. Right, okay, I got you. Uh, uh, how come? Um, what did Well, what I wasn't showing the music, so it's possible. Right. Uh, who are the other minions, to, as far as you know? As far as I know, uh, the other minions is Rich and Mooch. Okay. Uh, what are you? Me, I'm the assassin. Okay. And you're not just jerking me around? No. Alright, okay. I'm okay. I'm gonna go for a chat with Evan, apparently. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye? <laughs> Sorry, bye. <laughs> That's all good then. See you later. Bye. That was a fun conversation. I'm not really sure why I did what I did. What am I doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who did I say? <laughs>
Right, I said. Hey, it doesn't matter. As long, oh, you, you lied about everything. That's all that matters. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm sorry, Katie, but I really have to go and listen to what Christian says to Evan now. Yes, carry on. <laughs> it's right. Your final answer, that you're the chambermaid and you check me. Uh, absolutely final answer. Okay, because I am very confused. I'm fairly sure that I didn't mishear... What? Are you the lunatic? I'm fairly sure I didn't mishear Ben at the beginning and he told me that you were one of my minions. <laughs> Yep, okay, that makes sense, because... Because I was wondering uh, why you died. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, Lunatic woke up, uh, wakes up now. Uh, Jeff has claimed a role that doesn't. So, Lunatic would make sense, if that's what you're claiming. I mean, I'm, I'm claiming, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not your minion, dude, so... <laughs> Um, because I just I just went to to Kaylee, who was also one of my minions, and she said that she was one of my minions, but she gave me different information on who the other two minions were. Neato, right? So I feel like she could be the Godfather just jerking me around because she knows there's a lunatic in play. Uh, Neato, what demon are you? Uh, I'm a Shabalot. That makes sense. Well, I, I'm not, but <laughs> you believe that you are the Shabalot. Yes. Neat. Have you talked to any other minions apart from Kelly and me? I need to speak to Rich. Uh, Minion-wise, no. Uh, no, just just you two that I was told. The other one I was told was Oliver. Uh, neat. Could you talk to Oliver for me then, just to see if he gives an affirmatory statement to him being a minion? Sure. Okay, thank you very much, mate. And all that's... Okay. But yeah. Uh, I think the idea is I'm probably going to be executed at some point today. I think I think that there is a plan to execute me today. Just so you know. Alright, do you know who you're going to pick, though? Uh, I've got an idea. Who if you are the Moonshot, okay. Yeah, I've got an idea what I want to do. So okay, I, I, cool. I do. Want to, like I, yeah, I've got, a, got a plan. To, I've got a plan. I want to test it. Uh, hopefully, it works out. But uh, if it works, I'll let people know. If it doesn't work, then uh, yes, I'm going to keep forget it all quiet. plans. Yes, forget all plans. I'm going to keep it quiet. Anyway, <laughs> all cool. right, cool. Uh, I get back. Thanks, Nadine. Thanks. Um, what did you gossip yesterday? I gossiped a uh, demon between Nadine to Theodora. Okay, Nike. So, do, do you think the additional kill was because of you? Uh, I'm not going to say right now. I would like to hear what your three roles are. Uh, okay, so my three roles are chambermaid, tinker, or sailor. Sailor. Okay. Uh, as I say, I'm kind of just collecting uh, uh, claims at the moment. Yep. And going to piece that together, so I don't really have anything for you right now. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. <clears throat> well, this is getting very interesting. Um, if you're just joining us now, if you're coming across from the UK Games Expo, hello, welcome to the stream. We're currently running a very large advanced game of Blood on the Clock Tower. If you like what you see and you want to try it out, there's a button beneath the uh, the stream video that says try it now and you can click that button and it'll take you through to a form where you can sign up for some private demonstration games that we're running tomorrow. In the meantime, stick around, crack open a beer, we're going to play some Blood on the Clock Tower. God, I sound like one of those American radio hosts, don't I? <laughs> like late night radio. Stick around, crack open a beer. Anyway, um, let's go see what Monslaw and Nadine are talking about. Oh, wait, Christian's a lunatic. Okay, I think I missed Yeah, okay. Christian's a lunatic. Oh, yeah. He picked me and I stupidly killed two people. I should have killed one and at least I could have bluffed, like, being protected by the tea lady or something. So I'm trying to think of a decent bluff. I think it's fine. The lunatic will just come out. Oh, but yeah. picked you specifically. But now, okay, right, right. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Now, Christian thinks, now Christian's obviously going to think that I'm the demon because I'm one of the two. 
that he picked. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, this is... So I'm, I'm either thinking of coming out as the sailor, but I don't know if anyone else is the sailor. Oh, Dave's a sailor and Dave's dead. Careful, sorry, I know that. Uh, okay, so that's not going to work. Um, what else could I do? Uh, innkeeper, is that... So oh, no, that's someone's drunk. No, that doesn't work. Uh... Yeah, that's that's thrown a spanner in the works. He's picked me like night one. Um, I don't know the script well enough to get yourself out of that one. Yeah, what I what I really should have done is just killed one person, and that would have confirmed him as the lunatic. But oh wait, wait, you could we could say that the other person is a, a gamble gossip. death or a gossip death or something. Oh, you you can't kill one person. You have to pick two. I have to. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, no, that's fair. I'm just trying All to... Alright, we, we've been here long with, with, right, with yeah, Ben right, as well. So right. I'm, bad. I'm off. I'm off too. My presence is like a bad luck talisman for people. It makes them seem evil. Alright, let's give these guys a uh, three minute warning. Do we want to... There we go. Yep, <laughs> literally read my mind. We are so in sync. Um, see so what Jeff and Nadine are talking about. All right, do you want to go first or should I? Oh, you can go first. All right, uh, Corte, Pacifist or Exorcist? Okay, I am one of Chambermaid, Tinker or Sailor. Okay. Uh... Interesting. Cool. Alright, thanks. Thank you. He, he was either... He's either the chambermaid, the minstrel, or the sailor. Okay, well, okay. So, I know he's not the sailor. I'm we fairly go. sure he's not the chambermaid. I'll leave that with you. Right, okay. rumor going down so oh we've got ben as well yeah just wondering what you guys are talking about talking about whether how i might, might must be the lunatic <laughs> yeah. christian's just finished the conversation and then went i'm so paranoid right now i was like cool that's a good good statement to hear yeah i mean to be fair that's an appropriate uh, emotion to have regardless of uh, which of those two characters you are yeah i'm not gonna out myself just yet but i am Pretty sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, okay. I, guess, I guess we'll see, won't we? Yeah, we will. Patience? Oh. In about a minute was the answer to that question. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, so. I think I've heard of this plan, but I'd like to know more. But is, I guess. It, is it a Calippo-based plan? Uh, plan? I feel like any plan is augmented by it being a Calippo. Uh, Mooch, can I have a really oh, good chance? Yeah, let's plans. go. My plan is the good plan. I'm just covering for someone, don't worry about it. <laughs> Did you do this last time? Uh, I. What do you mean last time? Like earlier today, are you just wasting my time, or is that was did someone I'm else not, do I'm the same thing? Time. I have reasons for doing what I'm doing. Just trust me, no, please. I know, I know, I know. It's for you, but it's just it is wasting my time. <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry, it's fine. I don't mind. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to call out the entire evil team at once. <laughs> <laughs> That's suspicious. He's, yeah, he's that trying to he's trying to make the ballsy play of nailing the entire evil team on day two in a gossip. <laughs> yeah, but the, right, the problem is that even guys. if you get the gossip right, you might. Um, hmm. So um, nominations are open. Could uh, I will say? I would like to make a gossip statement that there are two outsiders in play. Daniel gossips that there are two outsiders in play. Underneath, yeah. underneath that clamour, I think Thea nominated Ben T. Is that correct? Yeah, and I was literally about to make a glossy claim myself. 
Okay. Uh, well, well, you can you can still make your gossip claim regardless of what happens uh, in this nomination. But we have to go with the nomination. So no, that's the absolutely fine. Theodora, tell us why I've nominated Ben T. Uh, because I think he might not die. Okay. Ben, do you agree? <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This will this will be interesting then. Uh, seven <laughs> votes required if you wish to execute Ben. In three, two. One. I think we should there go is for this. very good reason go to not for go for this. I will explain it soon. After this. I, Do I not go for this. Why. No, Thea, I, I think I know why. Please don't go for this. Thea, Thea waited one day before you went on a killing you, spree. Simon, yeah. Simon is evil then if you, if you are agreeing with this. I so could Simon believe Simon is evil. Reluctant. Then why? Um, okay, then someone nominate Simon. But well, he's not going to go die now it. because he's the, the aid. Last night, I wanted to. I wanted to execute him. Five is not enough. The... Ben, I believe you wanted to make a gossip claim. I would like to make a gossip that the demon is either Simon, Theodora, Kaylee, or Christian. Ben T gossips that the demon is either Simon, Theodora, Kaylee, or Christian. Okay, um, thank you very much. Uh, Jeff, Jeff would like to gossip that the demon is the Poe. Jeff gossips that the demon is the Poe. Okay, well... I would like some chance now to defend myself against accusations of being evil. I mean, can we just nominate somebody else? Um, we can do, yes. Uh, Jeff mm -hmm. would like to nominate Kaylee. All right, Jeff, tell us why I've okay. nominated Kaylee. Uh, so I have heard of a lunatic claim. They claim that Kaylee is their minion uh, and acted in a very minion-like manner to the lunatic. Uh, so I'm relatively comfortable that Kaylee is the minion. Um, I've also heard the claim that Kaylee is the tea lady. Simon, I asked Simon who said he had heard of a tea lady claim and I asked oh. him if it was one of Kaylee, Mooch or Nadine and he told me it was not. Uh, so I don't understand why why that has occurred. Okay, okay. Kaylee? Uh, okay, so um, I am the tea lady um, and I went to tell Daniel this on the first day but I didn't get a chance to. Um, I didn't know that Thea was claiming to be the tea lady until just now. Um, I didn't tell Simon my role. The only person I told was Evan, uh, who knows it. Um, what was the other thing? I had a chat with somebody who claimed to be a lunatic. And I thought that it was useful information to just mention that they were the lunatic. So I just put down that they were. And just thought it might be a better idea to see if convince them if they were the demon than a lunatic. Okay. So that, that's why I did. All right. Seven votes required if you wish to execute Kaylee. Three, two, one. Put a vote in here, but I feel like there's information that most of the town has not heard. Go with this. Yeah, I wanted to say something, but there's no opportunity. I'm the tea lady. I mean, I don't know why Daniel voted for it, because obviously well, I'm protecting uh, him. But uh, on, a, on a point of principle, I, I'm the tea lady. <laughs> and so is my <laughs> wife. I'm the tea lady. That's why I didn't die yesterday. Eight that's votes for Kaylee. Kaylee. I don't think <clears throat> wow, Eight is that's overkill. Wow. Jesus. What did I do, guys? <laughs> Well, I suppose if we, I'm going down the route of killing all. I mean, to be honest, as a tea lady, I don't necessarily care that much about dying. But there's also a double claim out there, so I don't know why I shouldn't just nominate Thea. So I'm going to nominate Thea. Okay. Anything to add to that accusation, Kaylee? Uh, kill all double claims. <laughs> okay. Theodora. Same mind defense. Okay. I, I'm glad this happened because I can. Uh explain more in depth what I was doing earlier. So um, I nominated, uh, I was going to nominate Simon day one, but he was really reluctant to do it, uh, to, for me to do it. So I was, so uh, then I, I spoke to Ben and he was quite happy for me to do it. So then, uh, but someone else went ahead and did another nomination on night one, day one. So I, yeah, uh, uh, I think this time, this time Simon was really, happy for me to um, to nominate him and he was uh, not and he didn't like that I was going for Ben T instead um, I didn't mind it and I voted for it if you remember but that's right. and also you spoke I also to agreed ben, to nominate Ben T you also yeah but you preferred that I did 
that I am not related to you, so because I assume okay. you were DA. I think we're getting teaching. some way away from the subject of whether or not you should be killed, Theodore. So, so uh, do you have anything <laughs> else to add as to why people shouldn't vote for you before we vote? Just that Simon and Kaylee spoke, so they so Simon knows that uh, I'm I was claiming to Lady before he spoke to Kaylee. I don't know. Okay. So we got eight on Kaylee, nine required if you want to execute Thea in three, two, one. This one's definitely not passing. No. <clears throat> okay, Kaylee's still on the chopping block. Do we have any other nominations? Uh, Mooch, can I just gossip that uh, there's a Shabaloth in play? Mooch gossip, gossips that there is a Shabaloth in play. Any other nominations, guys? Going once. Twice. That's cool. Bring the day to a close. Three, two, one. Kaylee is executed and dies. The game continues. Back to your cottages. All right. So, Ed. Mm. <clears throat> uh, Minion has just died. So that everybody means be everybody drunk. is drunk until dusk. Uh, mm. It's worth noting that uh, drunk players can still get correct information if we want them to. Yep, but no abilities can actually change the game state. That's right. So, <clears throat> we're basically just going to do the rounds for no reason. Um, Pretty much. Yep, so I'll put that little uh, reminder there. Everyone drunk. Um, and then we skip to uh, Sailor's Dead, so... Oh, uh... We also need to talk about whether or not we're going to okay. revive anyone. I am not going to have a Shab Shabaloth regurgitation tonight. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do, but doing but it this early, A, extends the game unnecessarily, and B, uh, will prove that we have a Shabaloth in play, which I think the evil team are on the back foot already. So And not... uh, you can't anyway, because Minstrel. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, good point. So I literally can't do it. That's the other reason. <laughs> Arguably more important reason. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so straight on over to Simon, mm -hmm. who will be doing nothing, even though he doesn't know that. Simon, hello. Who are you going to pick? Oh, God. Um, I think I'll pick Benty. Benty? All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Moving on. Richie. I survived. Maybe I survived drunk, but I survived. <laughs> he did indeed. Um, what, what, what's your, what's your gamble? Well, I'm gonna go take a drink with a courtier, and I gamble that Christian is the courtier. <laughs> you gamble that Christian. Ah! I'm sorry, someone in chat just played. <laughs> someone in chat just played Gandalf going, "You shall not pass." I did not see that coming. <laughs> that very much took me by surprise. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't worry, Richie, that's got nothing to do with what you're doing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, thank you. Cheers. Hello. <clears throat> Who are you going to pick, Christian? Uh, I'm going to go with Oliver and Mooch. You're going to go with Mooch? And Oliver, uh, there he is. Oliver and Mooch. All right. Thank you. Right. Just gonna follow you, Ed, because <laughs> I've got rubbish eyes. Hey, how's it going? Who are you gonna pick? Oh, sorry, I need to tell you things first, don't I? Yes, please. <laughs> um, so your lunatic selected. Oliver yep. and Mooch. Okay. Um, I guess uh, I'll go with Oliver and Mooch, but I uh, 
I suspect that he has a plan, and it's very annoying he picked me on the first night. <laughs> it's okay. put me on the back foot. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. I also wish I'd known Theodora was a tea lady as well, that would help. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, well, you can't have everything. Uh, okay, um, thank you. Cheers. Where am I going now? Somewhere. There. Nadine, would you like to use hey, it? I... No, thanks. Alright, thank oh, you very wait. much. Cool. So I'm just going to drop into the cottage for a moment. Um, nice little little half-time break in the middle of the night. Uh, yep. So it makes no difference what the gossip did yesterday uh, mm -hmm. because we're all drunk. Um, I'm, I'm happy for Nadine that she didn't use her ability. I would have felt bad. Yes. Uh, yeah, that ability might come in critical yeah, later. Yeah, really, um, really will. Um, we're, we're, nothing to do with the Moonchild. We've got nothing to do with the Grandmother. Daniel the Professor. Yep. Uh, I'm kind of hoping he does use his ability, just because. Yeah, I, feel I mean, like he has promised he's gonna. So. Oh, okay. Well, we'll it's find out. It's, yeah. Daniel, would you like to yes. profess your undying love for for a corpse? I yes, I would like to attempt to bring Evan back to life. You would like to bring <laughs> Evan back to life, okay? Thank you very much. Was cool. I'm kind, of, yeah. I'm kind of glad that got that got wasted because, yeah, rough time for the evils right now. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's only a matter of time before the penny drops and Christian realizes uh, that the reason, like once he realizes he's the lunatic, he's going to realize that the reason he realized it is because he tried to kill the demon on day one. Yeah. Um, I time. mean, he's going to at least think it's a minion. Uh, Law's going to have a lot of trouble now. Yeah. I think there's a chance that when Daniel comes, well, Daniel's going to have to come out and say that he tried to use his ability and it didn't work um, in order to prove the minstrel, and there's a good chance that he'll just get executed just in case. But, yeah. I'm so, so, we've got a question in chat there. Uh, you're jelly. If you're drunk, why would you use your ability? The answer to that question is that you don't know you're drunk most of the time. Uh, drunkenness and poisoning are things that happen to you, usually beyond your own control. Uh, there's not really much you can do about it. You can figure it out sometimes. You can figure out that you're probably drunk or that you're probably being poisoned by the evil team. But uh, but it takes a lot of gumption to do that. Uh, and also, you have to have the right information, which unfortunately Daniel didn't have. So he wasted his ability. But through no the irony, zone. the irony is that he probably should have had the ability, the information, but Jeff didn't trust him. Um, so Jeff and Evan and Dave and Daniel had a little group together. Uh, where Daniel said he was going to resurrect Evan, and uh, they were they had got the lunatic information from Christian that Kaylee had backed up the, the minion play. So they had all of the pieces, knowing that Jeff is the minstrel and that they were killing a supposed mi minion. But I don't think they actually followed that through logically. Yeah, I've just realised that uh, the question was actually why do you, if you're drunk why do you lose your ability, uh, not use? Uh -huh. My apologies. Um, the answer to that question is simply. Um, if you didn't, then there would be, then no drunkenness and poisoning would be a significantly less important mechanic. Uh, it has to be there. Uh, one of the main reasons that drunkenness and poisoning exists, and one of the main reasons that it's so punishing and harsh, is because it is brutally difficult for evil to win in Blood on the Clock Tower. Uh, yeah. You start off losing every game. This isn't Werewolf. You don't, you don't just need to keep your evils alive. You literally have to keep your demon alive. The moment the demon dies, the game is over. So most of the mechanics are geared towards helping out the evil team in some way or yeah. another. Uh, it really is good's game to lose at the start of most games. Yeah, and the other, just on the strategy in this one, it's going to be interesting with no deaths tonight as to whether they re-execute Kaylee. Yeah, that will be interesting. Because it looks very much like a mastermind day as far as they're concerned. Okay, well, um, let's uh, yeah, let's let's go. Bring everybody home. <clears throat> Just wait for everyone to get back. Any day now. There we go. Hello. Good morning, everybody. There were no deaths in the night. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Si if Simon is happy to die, then. We should well, not execute actually... Simon. Yeah, I don't. I, I now understand that if I am executed, my power will stop. 
for some reason that didn't occur to me well, oh, up until it, now. Oh, right. I realized there's a, uh, like a, a minstrel play and, the, and that uh, was Kaylin. Yes. And... I would Daniel, like to can we chat? No. Um, Actually, no, no okay. Dave. Dave, can we chat? Uh, yeah, Daniel, sure, Daniel. I, would like that, I would like to say that I am the professor I tried to resurrect Tevin last. I knew, I knew you were going to be. I'm not the uh, chambermaid. I'm just telling everyone I'm the chambermaid Tinkle Sailor. I am the minstrel. Yeah. And I believe my power is why no one died. Cool. I um, believe that. With me telling people I'm the sailor. Uh, yeah, go for it. There's a few people that know I am, but it's, it's fine. I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm happy with you bluffing it. Yeah, so, my, so, what have you, so basically, here's what I've got the circle, right? So I've got Dave, you as the sailor, Evan as the chambermaid, I'm the minstrel, James as the fool, Christian as the lunatic. Yeah. I don't know Law, Mooch, or Nadine. Uh, Oliver is the moon child, although I suspect he could be the, go the godfather. Uh, Rich is the gambler. He gambled me on the first yep. night opportunity. Obviously, last night his his effect is of no use because he's drunk. Uh, yep. I don't know Simon Theodore or Ben. Or Theodore is actually the tea lady. We're saying I, I, I'm inclined to believe that. Yep. So, but yeah. So basically, I had everything that you had and nothing else. Um, yeah. So Christian is who I protected or not protected. Who I drunk? Who I targeted the night that I died? But if he's lunatic, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because like, I was very suspicious of him until Evan went, oh, it's a lunatic. It's like, all right, okay, fine. Yeah, so Christian <laughs> told me his minion. So Evan told me Christian's minions were Kaylee, Oliver, and Evan. So I could well believe there is an overlap of one there. I, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm I, fairly happy with Evan. Yeah, as am I. Because he also said he was the chambermaid. He checked me and Christian and got a one. So, and also, you, you, you drunken Christian would explain why you died, I think. Yeah. Because like, you, you could well imagine you would be drunk in that situation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, also, I believe a professor might have tried to use their power last night. Ah, oh, bugger. Which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah. I don't know for sure. Basically, I've heard secondhand of a professor that was going to try and resurrect me, and then I retargeted it to try and resurrect Evan instead. But I mean, I don't know if I, I mean I don't know if they actually exist or if they try did actually try last night. But it's quite possible they did. Yeah. So I can't. I kind of want to go for Oliver and fit. I want him to point at James, but I'm not entirely sure if that's because if he is just evil, it's a real weird one. Because if he's a minion, then he it won't go off because James is he, he will be all be drunk again and he won't actually have his well. I don't know if, if he's evil, it just won't work, will it? Yeah. Ah. Uh, so Simon says. I oh, was saying Simon saying he's the courtier. I'm like, well, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it seems an odd choice to go so early if he knew he was next to the tea lady. Like, why would you not wait another day? Yeah. So, what, so, so is he saying he went last night then, basically? Yes, which obviously has had no impact. All. Yeah. Because yeah, Daniel was the one that's told me about told me about him hearing about Professor. Do we know what law is? And also, uh, where, where are our outsiders? Right. So Oliver is apparently the Moonchild. Our Christians, the Lunatics. That's two. Maybe we've got a third. And who cool, I, moon, I'm going to try and talk to Who's Moonchild? Uh, Oliver says he's the Moonchild. Right, okay, cool. So yeah, so I guess that's, that's at least two outsiders. And then... But he also put Courtier and Exorcist in his bluffs. As I've had, had and, Courtier and the Dean, in the bluffs from the Dean as well. As have I, so I kind of think Courtier is possibly a bluff. Um, yeah. And Simon is also evil. Because what, what bluffs did Simon give you? Or not? Yeah, Simon hasn't given me any bluffs on rolls. Right, so the Dean gave me Courtier, Pacifist, Exorcist. Yeah, so I could well believe Simon. I, th I think in this case, Simon is probably a minion, right? I think Mooch's bluffs. I can't. That's the thing. I, I literally spoke to him and then forgot to actually bother writing so down his bluffs. So Mooch told was, me he it was, was similar things. It was Exorcist, Gossip, or Gambler, and Rich is the Gambler. Right, yeah. So or at least that, Rich is, Rich is saying he's the Gambler. The same, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so Katie Rich, did yeah, speak so to Rich the Dean told on me day he was one. A gambler and gambled on you. Yep. And yeah, I think at that point he told me you're either the sailor, the chambermaid, or the minstrel. So I pretty much so it's like fine, you're the minstrel. Yeah. Um. <sighs> okay, I need, we need to get Daniel and Ben T on to figure out what they are. I think Ben T might be the gossip. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. I'll see if I can see if I can speak to Daniel again. Yeah. Okay. I'll chat to Ben T. Thanks. Right, cool. Catch you a bit. Hey, 
hang on. Oh, so you wanted to speak to? Oh, sorry. I thought you were asking to talk to me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, did you mean to talk to me or Thea? Sorry. I I just went. I I, I didn't really. Uh, well, yeah. I, I I thought I was going for a chat with you. Yeah. Okay. Good. No, that's what I thought. How's it going? All right. Good. Good. Uh. Want to share any information? I publicly claimed. I missed that. I'm the professor. I tried to resurrect Evan last night. I assume I failed because of minstrel. Oh, um, why would that fail? I just said minstrel. Mm. If Kaylee was a minion, there's a minstrel in play. I would be drunk. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but, so is that your one use then? Yes. Ah, oh, um. Okay, well, I'm going to check you tonight then. Uh, I might as well come out. I'm the exorcist. I've checked, okay, then. I've checked Mooch and I've checked Thea and they're both not the demon. But I am checking you tonight. Okay. Well, in theory, it could be that he is the demon and Evan is, oh, I was drunk for some other reason, or Evan is not what he says he is. And that's why there were no death. But if it's he, if he was the demon, I would have had to have been drunk, I guess. Well, no, if, what do you mean? Uh, you, you picked Thea last night, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so, and there were no deaths that occurred. Yeah. So... It, it could be that C is the demon and I failed to resurrect Kevin for some other reason. To me as Professor. Yep. Uh, so day one, Daniel came out to me as Professor, which is why I didn't want to chat with you. Yep. Uh, and there were no dead people, so he didn't get a chance to use it. So I was saving until after he'd had a chance to use it, and now he's used it, so I'm happy to chat with you. Yeah, so I've, I, I, I could believe Daniel is the Professor. So, I, I, so I'm the sailor and I chose him last night. I didn't know anything about him. Cool. Uh, was there any specific reason you wanted to talk to me? Uh, you no, know, I'm just trying to talk to a few people. Um, I have never made you drunk. That's cool. It would have no effect if you did. What, what's your feelings on the town? Where, where does your suspicion lie? I have not spoken to anyone since day one because I knew of Daniel's press claim and I said to him I wouldn't. So I have very little to go on. Okay, uh, we should head back because Nom's opening soon. Yeah, uh, I show you how wrong I was. I thought you were the to come out. Sure, I, I will go with that. I will advocate to not execute you. Let's go back. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we are about to open nominations in about 10 seconds. Everyone's going to get dragged back in. <clears throat> Can I just ask something? The sure. Teller? Go for it. Uh, I was just going to ask if the if the TLA D1 work, if, uh, if there's a minstrel in play. Uh, well, that depends entirely on whether or not the minstrel's ability is, is functioning. Uh, yeah, if it is. So, so you're asking if the if if a minstrel has made a tea lady drunk, will the tea lady's ability work? No, no, it will not. Too much gin. All right, welcome back, everybody. Nominations are open. Ooh. So at this point, I have some information to the town that might illuminate some of the events from yesterday. Uh, Christian has come out to me as the lunatic. He claims that he is the Shabaloff. He saw me, Kaylee, and Oliver as his minions, and he seems to think he has enough information to indicate that he is firmly the lunatic. Is that correct, Christian? I mean, that seems, yeah. Two of the three of you have claimed to not be minions. <laughs> uh, who was the third? Kaylee, Evan, and... Me, Oliver. Oliver. I, yeah, I talked to him, and he basically said to me, do you have any information? I just said no. 
so we kind of worked it out from there. Incidentally, I also checked and made it in a one. Uh, Christian, what demon were you? Shabaloth. Which tallies up with the first knight, won't it? Indeed. Simon, do you have anything to add at this point? Uh, do I have anything to add? Um, not about that, uh, except that I just had a conversation with Christian where he counterclaimed my role. Yeah, because Courtier was one of my bluffs. Um, I firmly believe enough. Simon is evil. No, because okay. my bluffs well, can be... If, I, if I'm the oh, no, sorry, yeah. my bluffs could be in-play characters. Bluff yeah. definitely is legitimate. First call for nominations. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything either way that, that Christian got Portia as a bluff. Can I make a gossip claim, please? Yes, you can. Uh, I would like to gossip that the demon is between myself and Christian in an anti-clockwise direction. So, so it's either what, you or excluding me. you and Christian? Uh, yeah, so it would be Theo, so, Dora, round two, Law. You've gone the wrong okay. way. Where? Yeah. Was it not Law saying that? I oh, know, Law no, was just ben. light green. No, no, yeah. sorry, oh, sorry, Ben. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I yeah. said my name. Sorry. Law, Law right. lights up every time uh, Ben speaks for some reason. Oh, right, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, so sorry. Re say that again, Ben. <laughs> so, so between me and Christian, anti-clockwise, so Theodore around to, to law. law. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, Richard gossips that Christian is in fact evil. Richard gossips that Christian is evil. Jeff gossips that there is a Poe in play. Jeff gossips... Haven't you done that already, Jeff? I have, yes. <laughs> it's committed to the <laughs> Poe play. All right, Jeff gossips that the Poe is in play. Uh, Mooch is also going to gossip that Christian is evil. Okay, thank you, Mooch. Christian, who did you choose with your lunatic choices? Uh, the first night, Law and Dave. Uh, last night, Oliver and Mooch. But we could all be drunk. Second call for nominations. Isn't that significant that he chose law and he didn't? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Killed. It's interesting. Jeff would like to nominate Nadine. Jeff, Me. tell us why you've nominated Nadine. Uh, Nadine has claimed three roles to me. Two of the roles she has chosen uh, would imply that someone else has given three roles that are, that are basically they are none of the three. So I'm going to assume if Nadine is one of the roles, she is the second one she gave me, the last alphabetically, um, and I think we should test that. Okay, Nadine, your response? I am that, I th if, yeah, I am that one, but I don't see how that's testing it. Um, keep in mind, Nadine is drunk right now if a minstrel went off. Yes, if a minstrel went off, literally. Yes, okay, so it's definitely tested. not... But he, she would not be drunk by the time that uh, Pal would do it. Okay then. Okay. What do you mean? So, six votes required if you wish to execute Nadine. In three, two, Wild. one. This won't work as a test. There's another plan which would probably work, which ha which someone else spoke about earlier and then didn't follow through with it. If this test is execution related, then none of us have any powers at the moment, potentially. Oh, you say a power would. You, you saying that she's the moon child? No, someone else is, and that person we could test, not me. Six we enough. cannot test. Oh, we can test the moon child actually. You're saying that her ability will, will will go off when she's not drunk. That means that I'm pretty sure the moon child is the only one that fits that description. I'm not the moon child. Someone else has claimed that, and that's what we should be doing. Six is enough. Do we have any other nominations today? Why don't that just the, give the Godfather a free kill? If there is one. As there's likely to be. Do we have a reason to think that there is one? Well, there's likely to be one. Very good odds. So let's assume there is one until proven otherwise. So this is not going to work. I'm just like, Jeff, I'm just going to die. So I was, I'm going to nominate Oliver and he knows why. Okay. Do you want to enlighten everyone else or? Uh, 
I'll leave it to Oliver to say, because it's his thing. Okay, Oliver? Yes, uh, I'm happy to die. Um, I thought I was going to get nominated yesterday, but it didn't happen. I've spoken to a couple of people who know my role, and if that's the case, I am happy to die. Okay. What are you going to... Alright, seven votes required to beat Nadine Six in three, two, one. This, um... Are we going ahead with this? Because I don't want to tie it. It's up to you. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, yeah, it's a waste completely of my ability and thing. Oliver was one of the ones that uh, Christian, uh, called, right? Christian will be tying this. Hello. Uh, thanks, thanks, Lo. Uh, yes, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven votes for Oliver. Oliver on the chopping block. Do we have we, any uh, other nominations? Have we just walked into a mastermind? Uh, if we have to believe Daniel, Daniel was dying. Yeah, uh, I think yeah. whether. Yeah. So it would have to be. Yeah, if Evan. Yeah, the demon would have to willingly kill one of their minions, Evan. And then the one living minion would have to be the mastermind. Ben, can I borrow you for two secs? There'll be two living minions. Is that yes. me? Sorry. No, sorry, Mr. Burns. Sorry, it's just that uh, someone reminded me of this after the last stream. Um, the moon child no longer has to pick publicly, they can pick privately. Okay. Um, just a note. Um, right. So if, if they don't pick during the day, you can wake them up at night and make them choose. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Do we have any other nominations? Oliver with Thanks. seven. Yeah. I think I think Christian is probably a better bet if we're going to do Moonchild. Agreed. Sorry, Christian. Oh, you mean for Moonchild to pick me? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I think it's so I think it's unlikely you're gonna beat seven. So with that in mind unless we have any other nominations, I'll bring the blah, 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 bring the day to a close. In three, two, one. Okay, Oliver has been executed and dies. The game continues. Everybody goes to sleep. Oh that pause killed me. <laughs> Me and Ed just playing a bit of uh, yeah, catch Leech each other. Yeah. Uh, shall we go wake Oliver first? Or do we just wait till ninth in the order? No, he, he his uh he, his death happens immediately if he picks now. So yeah, Oliver first. Okay. Um just to clarify, uh he is now no longer drunk. Uh yes, because but he, but he, the minstrel's worn off. Yeah. So so his ability functions again. Yeah. It would have functioned if he'd picked during the day as well. He could have shouted uh, as soon as he was executed I'd like to pick this person, that's fine um, and that would still have functioned tonight Okay, alright, well just so chat knows, Oliver is the moon child uh, when he learns he dies he chooses one alive player, if good they die tonight let's see who he picks Oliver I'm dead, yes, hello <laughs> hello, yes, who would you like to pick? Well, the town's kind of agreed on Christian so I will pick Christian Alright, thank you very much Thank you. All right, moving on then. Oh, he's already gone without me. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Very rude. <laughs> All right, where's he off to now? I'm so lost. Oh, is it? All right, hello. I thought I was looking for the for the cottage with two people in it, Ed. Yeah, sorry. Um, right, I was off. I was trying to work out what, what who the fuck's next. Um, Dave's dead. All oh, right, that's because it's Simon is the DA. That's yeah. what I was missing. Simon then, Richie. Cool. Okay. All right, let's go. Simon, hello. Hello. Who's it going to be? I think... 
Oh, who did I pick yesterday? Do you remember? Sorry. Um, I actually don't. Uh, I think I picked Ben T. Y you picked Ben yeah, T yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Good job you remember. Uh, <laughs> I think. Oh, it's a tough choice, but I think I'm gonna pick Nadine. Okay, Nadine it is. Thank you very much. All okay. right, moving on. Hello, Richie. Hello. Who's it going to be? I feel like I dodged a bullet yesterday. <laughs> um, uh, Rich would like to gamble on Mooch being the kindly grandmother. Okay. Gambles on Mooch being the grandmother. Thank you very much. Yes. Moving on. All right, Christian. <clears throat> Hello? Right, yeah, sorry. Hello. Uh, it's all right. Who's uh, um, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to go with um, Mooch and Law. Mooch and Law. All right, thank you. All right. Just wait for Ed to get down here so we can talk about how utterly shafted the evil team are now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he is doing. I don't think he's coming. Oh well, I guess we'll move on then. Okay, Law, hello. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. I think you're going to uh, really like this. Um, Christian has selected... Uh... Oh, actually, hang on a moment. Ed, um, the cottage. Yeah. <clears throat> We had a bit of a boo-boo there, didn't we? Yeah, I jumped down to Law and hadn't realised where you were. Which, uh, <coughs> then you'd already asked Christian, so I was like, oh, never mind. Yeah, Christian's yeah. So already Christian dead, was so actually dead break. then. Uh, he shouldn't have done that. So I think you yeah. should probably... We should go back and say, actually, Christian, I totally forgot that you are dead. Uh, yeah. So you, you don't get to make a choice. Um, yeah, just to confirm for chat, the, the fact that the moon child is marked as nine is because it's the reminder is most useful immediately after the demon kills. Uh, yeah, that's a boo-boo by me, but to be honest with you, in a 15-player game of Bad Moon Rising at quarter to midnight, uh, I think I can be forgiven. Let's just head up to Christian and tell him. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Christian. Christian. Yes. Hello. Uh, made a mistake. I shouldn't have worked you up at all. You're actually dead. Oh, fair enough. Sorry about that. No worries. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, hello, Lord. Hello, Lord. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, there are there is no lunatic info for you tonight, so you can reasonably assume that the uh, the lunatic is probably dead. Aha! Uh -huh. Assassin's got to work. Okay. Um, let's go for Theodora and Jeff then. Theodora and Jeff. Indeed. Right. Thank you very much. No worries. Alright, so moving on. Around. <laughs> hello, Nadine. Hey, that was a close one. Yep, uh, but you're still alive and you've still got your ability. Do you want to use it? Um, hmm. No, I'll chance one more day. <laughs> Playing chicken with your ability here, Nadine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I told Law to put in chat when he wants me to use it, so if this goes badly, I blame him. <laughs> Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> all right, hello. Uh, right, so uh, Ben Ben T obviously made a correct gossip gossip blip, blip, gossip statement yesterday. Uh, so we need to decide who's going to die as a result of it. So um, I've forgotten who Richie. Oh, Richie gambled on Mooch being the grandmother. It depends how mean you're feeling. Yeah. Um, because Theodore is already dying, uh, as is Jeff, and James has already used his ability, Christian's dead, uh, you could use it to kill Simon, you don't really, you could use it to kill Ben himself, but that's a bit cruel, on both him and Mooch, um, so it's up um, to you whether- My instinct is to use it to kill Mooch. 
I think that's probably the most balanced choice at this point, right? Because how do how do we look after that? We've got uh, we'll we'll have got one, two, three alive good players and three alive evil players with the possibility to resurrect a good player tomorrow night. Uh, is it three? Is it four? No, four be... good players because Richie what, Ben, James, Daniel, Benty, and, and, oh, Richie. Yeah, and Richie. Yeah. So yeah, yeah my, I, the way I see it, it's either Richie or Mooch. Uh, and I think killing Mooch takes the whole grandmother thing out of the way, makes it nice yeah. and balanced. I'm on board with that. All right, cool. Um, Christian is asking for a rules clarification before we the night is over. Okay, do you want to do you want to jump in there? I don't think there's anything else left for me to do, is there? Uh, uh, I around. don't think so yet. Uh, Professor's not relevant anymore. Mooch is not relevant anymore. Yeah. Well, I might as well listen to the rules clarification then. Popped back in. Oh, there he is. Back. So he popped back in to say that um, I shouldn't have been woken. I was because I, I was dead. But wouldn't I have been woken before? I'm not sure of a way that I would have died. Before. Depends how you died, chief. It does, but I'm not on the night sheet that I can see. Is there a way? Well, uh, bear in mind that much like the real night sheets, uh, the this night sheet is also only has each. So you're potentially working off a different night sheet <laughs> in one place, even though it can act at different times. Uh, no, it's there's there's to be honest with you, the, what all we can say to you, Christian, is that we've not we're not in error, and perhaps you will learn the answer to your question tomorrow. Okay. All right, and uh, and you'll definitely learn it by the end of the game because you can ask us again if you haven't by then. I mean, yeah, fair enough. All right, thank you. All right, I think we've probably killed enough time now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go up. <clears throat> Just wait for everyone to get back up here. Alright, good morning everybody. There were four deaths in the night. We had a death on Theodora. We had a death on Jeff. We had a death on Christian. And we had a death on Mooch. Uh, okay. So, Simon and Nadine, right? Hmm. <laughs> that was, now is an appropriate time for a monster yeah. kill audio cue, I think. I, yeah, I mean, I would, I would assume that's Chavaloth, Moon, Moonshot, nice. Godfather. I don't know about Nadine, but it is... It's, not, not I mean, it's definitely you, Simon. It's, no, you're not Simon, because you're, you're, you're just a terrible courtier. I'm happy to be executed because I believe I am now spent. What I think my did, three anything, days and three nights are up. Who did you try to get? Monster kill! We just got the monster kill. Monster kill. Monster kill. Monster kill. <laughs> Rich, can we chat? What did you do as courtier? Oh, I poisoned the assassin. Why the assassin? Well, I had to pick something, didn't I? I, I didn't oh, know. Yeah. At that point, I had no idea what demon was in play. There was no way I could know that. You could have held out. I could have held yes. back, but, but Theodore oh, was desperate to test her tea, la tea lady power. Yeah, but oh, I... Not like this. That's why I didn't use my power immediately. It was not because like I was waiting to try and find out what demon was in play. Because if Absolutely it was a Pope or if it was a Chabalos, I could have got a really useful use out of that ability. But um, because I wanted to test the, the tea lady play, I went for... Um, Who said my name? Rich and Jeff. Rich, I'll go. Yeah. You didn't use it immediately. Mooch. I did not use it immediately. No, I used it as soon as, oh, as, soon as I'd spoken to Theodora. Uh, unfortunately, it's not worked out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and say I'm, I'm yeah. the lunatic at this point. Just remind me, Christian. Who did you pick at the first night? Was it? Did you say it was? It was Dave Luke. and Law. It was Dave and Law. Yeah. Do you think the reason the demon couldn't chew, uh, didn't follow the lunatic was because that, they might be the demon themselves? It's entirely possible. Uh, I think is law there might like want to a, come out. Is there an innkeeper or any reason why law wouldn't die if attacked? Well, I was thinking sailor, but I don't know. If it doesn't protect other people. Yeah, sailor wouldn't protect you. Okay. What, I don't you know. unless you are the sailor. I'm no, not... he isn't. He's claimed to me. No, I've claimed. I can come out if that helps. Oh, yeah, I was going to come in private law if you want to. Sure. Uh, Backstab, buddy. Sure. But that's not helpful to the rest of us. 
Hello, what are you? Hello, I'm the exorcist. Okie dokie, who have you checked? I've checked Theodora, who's not a demon. I've checked Mooch, who's not a demon. And I've checked Daniel, who's not a demon. Uh, the Mooch one is not confirmed. I am the minstrel, really? and that day you were drunk. Ah, uh, okay. But Mooch is also dead, so he's not the... Well, he yeah. could... He, uh, no, he can't be the dude. He can't be no, mastermind, because no. it's execution. I mean... Must remember executions, not deaths to, for things. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's Nadine. I don't know about Simon. I kind, uh... of, feel, I kind of feel like Simon could be, he could not be. Like, Mooch, Mooch says... Oh, okay. I think we just need to come out in public. What, why do you think it's Nadine? Uh... I don't. I don't have much information in this game at all. I've been finding things out from other people. Yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't. The dean doesn't like just fits for me. Like, so she claimed courtier, pacifist, and exorcist. Um, okay. Mooch to me claimed exorcist, gambler, and gossip. Uh, mm -hmm. So I know there's a well, Simon has claimed courtier. Mooch had claimed exorcist to me because I know of a gossip and a gambler, and yeah. so that means pacifist was that the only thing left. Mm -hmm. But people are dying, so yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, who have you, who, who? So have you chatted to anyone? I, I've chatted to a few people, but I, to be honest, it's been a pretty passive game. I've been hiding in the shadows, but now like limelight's on me. I guess I need to be a bit more public about things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. No worries. So if you've uh, joined in, tuned in in the last hour or so, uh, especially if you've come across from the UK Games Expo page, hello. Welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing this all weekend. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. This is uh, a huge game of an extremely complex script called Bad Moon Rising. So if you're not quite following what's going on, don't worry. It's not you, it's us. Um, if you want to try out Blue on the Clock Tower, you can tomorrow. Starting 12 hours I don't hours know you Englanders. <laughs> Why have you done this to me? Oh, sorry. That, that really took me by surprise. Um, <laughs> Oh, right, I need to compose myself. If you, if you want to come and um, try out Blood on the Clock Tower, you can do tomorrow. Below this video, there's a big old uh, splodgy orange button that says try it now. And that will take you through to a sign-up sheet where you can sign up for a game. Do come and check it out. It's a lot of fun. Although, uh, you know, I am somewhat biased, but I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm correct about that. Uh, those games will be private. We won't stream those, obviously. All right, back to the action is what's confuddled hmm. that's what the conversation was about <laughs> yeah daniel Mate. can we have a chat yeah i'm Mate. modern art is that law? if you've got that statement you can say it in public I'm Kayleigh, in associating with you considering you're very likely a minion yeah it's really hard to get out of this this thing i was just wondering because i would <sighs> trying to think about whether doing this in in private or not but fine i f i feel like there isn't really that much that i can do but i did have a question about your ability and when you used it because obviously i think you're claiming it on the night that apparently everybody got minstrel yeah I, 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 because I'm not. I don't know how many people were there but i am the professor i tried to resurrect evan on the night after katie was executed I yeah assume that, that was, failed that was minstrel. my that was my question, is who you tried to, to do, because I didn't necessarily trust Evan and Jeff together. That's why I was just bringing that up. But um, the, because I'm trying to figure out, because everybody's just so bogged down with it, it has to be a minstrel because I have to be evil. But because I know that I'm good, I'm trying to figure out what the other potential things that have happened it, is. Well, the Pope could, could have spent a day charging, which is probably why there was no deaths. Yeah. But I'm just trying to figure out, uh, because if Daniel is definitely the professor and he, he tried to use it on Evan, why that wouldn't have worked. And the only other thing I think of is that Evan is evil. Because like I said too, I think it was Oliver, I have a theory between Evan and Jack conspiring together and I'm not entirely sure. Well, they're both sure. dead, so... <laughs> there are other reasons why it might not have worked. Don't want to say the word Zombo, but you know. <laughs> I, I don't oh know my god, it's a Zombo. I don't, no. think, I don't think it's a zombie. The only way there is any demon other than Chambaloth is if Christian was a minion who killed himself or got killed mm -hmm. by an assassin or something. 
Yeah. yeah. If it's a zombie, we had four normal or goon. Zombies. Technically, it could be evil goon. Yeah. Just playing with us all. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't put it past him. I still got a feeling it's law, though. Well, if Christian is the evil goon, how did he die? He would have been picked by some, by someone and then someone else, or assassin. by the assassin. Assassin would override anything that the goon did. A coordinated kill, yeah, that would work. Mm. Yeah, but what was it? Like, kill the person they believe to be the lunatic and about to die anyway. It's a pretty good evil play because it confirms the moon child. So, yeah, the moon child's lying. Not lying. He told me at the start of the game what his role was. Um, yeah, I, I think I told Thea, I've told Jeff, I've told Christian. Um, and I think I've told Medine as well. Other can't people were. Can't remember if I've told anyone else. Well, I died in the night, so I cannot be the demon. Right? There's no loophole that I'm missing here. <laughs> well, uh, um, you could, in theory, be the zombie. Zombie. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah. That, doesn't, that, that really is unlikely with the kills, I think. Four kills. Does anybody want, anybody want to claim they made a legit gossip claim yesterday? So we can work out if maybe we had a gossip kill. Hmm. There was a gossip, I feel like it's There was a lot of gossipy oh. things going on, but I don't know if any of them were legit. Is anybody claiming to be a gambler? I have heard of a gambler. Okay, because that's an, another possibility of a death. Why are Evan and Jeff talking so much? I mean, they're both Thank dead. Thank you. But... They... Uh, I think they trust each other a lot. Tinker. Mm. I'm guessing there's no tinker in play. I think so. Oh yeah, if a dead player was a tinker, they might as well say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think that would help us a lot. This is... There's also no grandmother kill, or something like that. Oh, that could be... Uh, yeah, that could have I been. haven't heard... Yeah, I haven't heard any... But the grandmother... Well, grandmother. But that could is another reason that could explain an, uh, more deaths last night. All I can say is, uh, seeing as we're seeing as most of us are here, uh, I'm pretty sure I must have been the lunatic. I was shown uh, Oliver, Kaylee, and Evan as my minions. Oliver and Evan claimed not to be minions. Kaylee, after some confusing conversation, eventually claimed a minion role. I thought it'd be funny. If I fired off, oh. <laughs> She then outed uh, Rich and Mooch as the other minions to me. Um, after again, after some poking and prodding, um, and claimed that she was the assassin. Yeah, no, yeah. Chocolate. Yeah, it's, been, it's not a good idea to pretend to be a minion if you're good. Can you confirm code chocolate? Yeah, I realise that now. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Richard nominates Nadine. Richie yeah. nominates Nadine. I'm just like, here we go. Richie, okay. Nominates Nadine. All right, dude, state your case. I think Nadine is about as trustworthy as a uh, paper umbrella. She's not very trusty at all. It's going to let you down. <laughs> like Nadine's going to let us down when she's team evil. We should just kill her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. Not, not a lot of logic in that argument. No, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it nonetheless, though. This this logic is an analogy of how trustworthy and helpful she's been, uh, which is to say not at all. Okay, I realize... Can I have my defense? Please do, uh, please do. I don't know yeah. how you're going to defend against so... a paper <laughs> umbrella. I re I... Please don't out my role, I... is all I ask. <laughs> no, I appreciate I didn't help you, Rich, but Jeff knows now what I am exactly, and I'm happy for this to go ahead, because either way, it should... Help, and if you're not going to trust me at the end, you might as well just do it now and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I think. And we can't just keep executing good people because it might help us. Yeah. Oh, you can. I don't think will. the dean is good. Well, smart, can. you'll like it. What is the dean even claiming? I've claimed to Jeff exactly, and I've claimed like. Are you, are you happy for me to people. chair? I don't think it helps, but if you think it does, uh, pass it. Well. Oh, sorry, Pete, they so, keep playing uh, audio clips in chat. Uh, so <laughs> that one was literally Ralph, Ralph Wiggum going, <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> so Nadine has been pacifist to me. 
Uh. Yeah, that is it. Okay. All right, well... So, I mean, it's not in my hands, it's in the hands of Storyteller. All right, well, unfortunately, I'm Storytelling, so not very capable hands. Um, four votes. If you wish to execute Nadine, there are still 15 votes on the board. Votes for Nadine in three, two, one. Seems like you don't like this, Simon. I mean, I just... I don't know. I will use dead votes if I have to push this through. This should be going. Then let's be dead voting on this. I we need to. Oh, we should be killing this. We need to if Law doesn't vote for it. I made a serious mistake in making these audio clips playable for just 50 bits. We need Law to. Nadine, oh, if you don't vote on yourself, I'm going to be incredibly sorry here. Okay, I'll vote. I'll vote. Four is enough. Oh. I was suspicious, that's why I didn't vote. I wanted to see if the Nadine amount would. of pulling teeth that was. <laughs> is, there, is Nadine voting for herself enough for us to switch to someone else? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, are you guys happy with that? Or I mean, I really been... want... I'm still thinking it's law, though. Yeah, I'm not trusting law. I'm like... no, also play. not trusting law. I'd also happily go for law. I don't know why law. I'm, I'm I mean, don't think. Wait, you're not going to lose the game off of this. You don't uh... know. That. First call for nominations. Feel free. I doubt it. You might will you nominate law? I don't know anything about law. <laughs> uh, law is the yeah, exorcist. There's no yeah. reason not to nominate. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I nominate law. Okay. Why are we doing this? Gonna... I'm deferring this to someone else for the accusation. Okay, anyone want to jump in? Um, there is something that makes a bit suspicious of Law. He came to me either the first or second day and came out as the exorcist and said he exorcised me and said that I know you're not the demon, which is not really how it works. It must have been after the day we had two kills. Yeah, but they could be something that he could have exorcised me as a demon and he could still have got two kills at that point. So I would like to know what Law, why Law said he didn't think I was a demon. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to, to defend myself on that. I got my role wrong. I thought that my role was that if it was the demon I found out instead of the other way around. So I also misclaimed that to Daniel and Daniel kind of confirmed that to me that I was reading my role wrong. But I'm happy to come out as the exorcist. I checked Theodora, Mooch and Daniel. Um, and that's basically all I have to say. I misread my role. I know that's suspicious. I haven't played this game for a while and I apologise. But I'm happy to die. Um, and that's it, really. Okay. we got four on Nadine. That means you need five if you want to execute law in three, two, two, one. I think go for law because we can detest Nadine's power on anyone. Oh, why is Dean not voting for this? That's so weird. Yeah, oh, I'd, why I'd, I'd rather that? have law than... Oh, yeah, can, can, can we vote I'd for I'd rather have law than Nadine. The, the other reason I've, I think it might be Law is, uh, is because of Christians trying to, trying, trying to kill Law first day. Daniel. Normally, normally the do I, demon normally goes, follows the lunatic. I do not want to give... James, don't put that vote in. I don't want to give you the chance to tie this. Three is not enough. No, he's not, not going to tie it. We've already screwed that up. Why, <laughs> have people, why have people not voted for that? Yeah, that was a weird thing not to vote for. I genuinely missed it. Okay, I'll, I'll have you on the Dean. sorry, that was me. But like, Simon, Ben and Daniel, why did you not did vote not, on that? There did not seem to be a lot of support, and I didn't want to give you a chance to tie. That is suspicious. Yeah, we would have been okay Ben and Daniel to vote. I'm going to revoke co code word chocolate. Just saying. <laughs> Rich, should, should we just kill Rich, then? No, we should not kill Rich. How confirmed is Rich? Why uh, are we sure about Rich? Yeah, we, we don't need to confirm Rich at this point. Kaylee um, told me Rich I mean... was a minion. Hooray! Yeah, oh, well, Kaylee that's nice to say now, Christian. No, I said it, but you guys weren't in the room at the time. Well, don't uh, you think that that makes him minion-y? He, so she I said that when she to... believed you would believed you believe that you were the lunatic. Yeah, when, when of my three minions, Kaylee was the first I spoke to, and I eventually after a little bit of a conversation we got to her admitting that she was a minion and then i kind of weaseled out of her that the other two minions were rich and mooch but it was a really weird strained conversation that's because <laughs> that i'm not like I... super confident in yeah it's because i thought it would be funny and i realized how much it backed up 
I All learned right. my lesson. I won't do it again. Final okay, I think nominations. I was just going to say, because I was implicated in that, there's enough people that know I'm good to know that Kaylee, if that is what she said, was not saying the correct minions. Mason, yeah, because you did die last night, which makes me odd. Um, do we have somebody can, who would, can... Would anyone like to advise me as to who to check tonight, by the way? Bringing the day to a close. Can I yeah. just make a gossip claim, Absolutely. please? A gossip. I would like to gossip that Richie is the demon. Ben T gossips that Richie is the demon. Thank you, Ben. Ben, Ooh. are you claiming to be the actual gossip? And if so, I what did you say? Gossiping yesterday? seems like a bad so idea. With you, can game. Use, uh, you can use game chat to have this conversation at night if you wish, but I'm going to bring the data to a close now. I don't know why I haven't clicked finish on this vote. Sorry about that. <laughs> In three, two, one. Nadine is executed <coughs> and does not die. Everyone goes to sleep. <laughs> Yay, well done, Nadine! Ah, <laughs> oh, that was quality. Oh, I don't just, know why, but just I love that. that. Those, all of that disgust. <laughs> <Yes. just>, oh. <laughs> Bloody disgusting! I also love the fact that Jeff was like, I'm nominating Nadine to confirm her, with the entire point being to trigger her pacifist ability and then as soon as she didn't die he's like DA come on that's a DA like oh Jack just give her a round of applause we'll have to tell her Jeff, afterwards you just said it the other the other joyous thing about this is um, yeah as people have noticed this could get pretty difficult for the good team if uh, evil have coordinated their kills here yeah definitely um, so I'm I'm thinking we're going to regurgitate either Jeff or Theodora um, yeah let's see what See what the uh, I, I think Jeff I think Theodore, probably yeah. Jeff actually yeah because he I think can't Theodore is a bit too it. strong and has a potential to really imbalance things um, so probably Jeff uh, right we are going to Simon first yes but I'll just pop the old resurrection there uh, right Simon let's go <laughs> Simon all right what wasn't that amazing. It was amazing. I, I think you would like. To, I thought you might like through. to know that um, in chat, uh, I'm going to name. I'm going to name drop. Uh, Mister uh, Mr. I Guy spent 50 of his bits to give you guys a round of applause in, oh, as an really? audio cue for pulling that off. Oh, nice! <laughs> Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Sorry, right. what's his name again? Mister I Guy. Mister I Guy. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So, uh, who's it going to be today? Um. I mean, it's, it's the obvious play, but it's got to be Law. Law. Yeah. Good shout. <clears throat> oh, all right. All right. Thank this you tense. very much. Richie. Bugger, I'm not ready for this one. Okay. I, I mean, uh, frankly, how the hell are you still alive? That's a very good question. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna gamble that a character by the name of. Uh, how quickly do I have to decide? Well, you take your time, you don't have to decide right now, but I am here, and I can't go anywhere else until you choose. Cool, just give me 30 seconds to ponder right. this over. You, you, you relax. Do I wanna go for a pot? Well, I suppose, obviously, not to coach you, but uh, I suppose the big decision is. Do you actually try and use it, or do you just use it on yourself to stay alive at this late stage? Well, that's the thing. Well, no, not even that. Like, do I go for a positive or a negative? Like, do I go for someone I do suspect <clears throat> could? Because gambling myself is a waste, because I could still die, and that's information. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're not game end yet. Um... I'm going to gamble that James is the fool. So you're gambling that James is the fool. All right. Thank yeah. you, Richie. Cheers. All right. Moving on, Ed. Moving on up. Where the hell am I going? Uh, here we go. All right, Law. Hello. Got a little bit hairy for a second there, didn't it? It really did. It's still probably going that way, and I feel like Christian's nabbed me, but we'll see what happens. We will indeed. But for now, who's it going to be? Uh, it's going to have to be Rich and Nadine. Rich 
and Nadine. All right. Thank you very much. No worries. <clears throat> so I imagine that you've sensed why I've brought you here, Ed. <laughs> yeah. So that's, so that's really interesting. So, um, so Rich, in case anyone didn't catch that, Rich as the gambler, gambled the truth that James is the fool, but then the Shabaloth killed him. Which is going to make Rich believe, possibly, possibly, that um, that he was killed as a result of his gamble. Although, yeah, it does... the problem is there won't be. It's going to be really weird that Nadine dies, and, uh, yeah, that yeah. the, the, there's only two deaths. Uh, I think we can safe, reasonably <laughs> say that we can possibly... Uh, Sorry, we get oh more audio cues. <laughs> I think we can reasonably say that we'll probably resurrect Nadine tomorrow if it's still going, because uh, I think that. Yeah, yeah it well, depends. Was... It's interesting. It depends whether you resurrect, whether you do resurrect Jeff now or not. I, I mean, I want to. You do want to. <laughs> I really do want to. Um, but I don't, mm, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Well, yeah. The difficulty is that if you resurrect Jeff, it depends if they go for law or not. Because Nadine's now dead. They've got Simon that they're pretty sure is evil. Um, yeah. So they, they're probably going to have to drop the 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 execution on Law. But if they don't and they execute Simon, you get a no-kill knight. Um, yeah. Which becomes really silly as well. Um, and then at that point, you can't resurrect Nadine. Um, yeah. No, do you know what? I'm going to stick with it. We're going to resurrect him. We're going to see how it goes. It's Batman Rising. Yeah. Got to live a little, yeah, right? But... I've, yeah. I've played a whole game with my favourite uh, demon and I haven't even used half his ability. It's happening. Right. That's uh, fine. Uh, yes, okay, so we are... Nadine is dead, so Nadine doesn't get to do anything. Uh, um, the gossip kill it. is non-existent because he gossiped incorrectly. Yeah, uh, and the press has used their ability, done. so that's it. And we've killed enough time, I think, here, so let's, uh, let's head on up. Yep. Absolutely loving these uh, cyberpunk techno beats. I realise that it means nothing to you, Ed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all the stuff that you can't you can hear, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I know. I realise that I'm just kind of bursting out laughing in the middle of days because someone's played like a Gandalf clip or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, at least I'm having fun, eh? Yeah. At least. Uh, uh, good morning, good everybody. Uh, we had two deaths in the night. That was Richie and Nadine. However, Jeff is alive again. <laughs> okay, so regurgitation. Yeah. Regurgitation. Monster. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I hope chat voted for that. <laughs> Thank you for the oh. monster kill, guys. <laughs> Laura, I'm phenomenally interested in why you haven't died in the night as the exorcist. Agreed. And why would the Dean be killed? Pardon? Why did Nadine die? Maybe she was eaten. I am the pacifist. And... Right, but why would they kill the pacifist? Good... Because kill. it's a really good kill for the demon. Why wouldn't the demon kill a pacifist? The pacifist can keep good players alive longer. Uh, Jeff, the pacifist. Oh, well, hang on. Did Christian want to give all his info? Didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. Let me. Let me. So let me do. My... I've done this a couple of times, but not everyone's been in the chat at the same time. Uh, okay, so I was told that I was the Shabaloth, and I was told that uh, Oliver, Evan, and Kaylee were my minions, and that the Tinker, the Innkeeper, and the Courtier were not in play. Um, I did nothing day one because I was not told. I've played this game enough, and I was not told there was a lunatic in play, so I was immediately suspicious that I was a lunatic straight off the bat. So I did nothing day one and waited to see if my minions approached me. Uh, and I sat in the town square and I said, hey, I'll chat to anybody. And a few people did chat to me, but nobody who was a minion came to, came to who I thought was a minion came to chat to me. Uh, so day two, I then went straight to, well, not straight to you, but I went to Kaylee. We had a very weird back and forth conversation of me saying, so are you you're a minion? Okay, I said, am I a minion? I said, I think you're a minion. I said, maybe I am a minion. Kind of weird conversation till eventually she said she, she was the assassin. And the other minions were Rich and Mooch. Uh, I then eventually spoke to Evan, who I said, are you my minion? And he said, no. <laughs> uh, 
and that was very like okay i was cool i was already suspicious of the weird conversation i'd had with kate from the weird conversation i had with kaylee uh and he he shared some info with me then i went to oliver who told me uh his role and i said are you sure you're not a minion because i thought you were my minion and again oliver said no i'm not your minion at which point i was pretty much pretty sure i'm the lunatic uh, i've been killed at night now so again fairly sure i'm the lunatic um and that's my full info dump uh mooch gave me three roles that have already been claimed by other people so presumably none of those are true oh yeah same as that as well um, he gave um, me. That's it. Okay, well, I, tr I trust Mitch. I, I he gave me three roles. Only one of which I'm aware has been claimed. Dave, I, I would Dave also and be Jeff are the only Mitch. two. Yeah, Dave and Jeff are the only two I haven't heard a claim from. Uh, Jeff, which um, no. claims from Dave, which are your Ben. Jeff, which are Ben, sorry, not Dave. Yeah, I'll say Daniel, you definitely got a claim from me. Yeah, so Jeff, which and Dave, not Jeff, Jeff, which and Ben. Why can I not say that? Jeff, can I have a chat? Uh, well, do, you, do do people first? You want to hear what role I am? Yes, please. I am yes, the minstrel. Oh, that's great. Ah, oh, I see. Interesting. You lied to me. Can we I lied to I lied to many many people. Can we presume we're doing badly if you've been brought back? Which well, we have at least another. Unless you're going to be ineffective as a minstrel. See, I'd have thought that Kaylee. No, he, he means that we do not lose if we hit. An evil player. Yeah, I'm thinking that Kaylee maybe was a minion, but she bullshitted me on the other minions. Because which I would mean, agree. He knew you were the yeah. lunatic because, yeah, she was showing someone else as a demon. So it's, it's entirely valid that it's not reasonable that she would have lied to you. But from my my point of view, knowing that I am not a minion, but I was claimed by Kaylee's v one, it doesn't make sense if I'm a minion to admit that I'm a minion, but then not even try to get the correct minions. Why would you do that? You're just going to get outed. Why not just claim your towns both, like um, Evan and uh, Oliver do? Well, hoping, so, to, hoping to manipulate the, the lunatic, I guess. The thing that confuses me is why would a minion ever need to tell their demon who the minions are? To confirm that they're think, not the lunatic. Yeah. That's pretty much how I worded it. Shall we talk about who we're suspicious of? Because the demon is still here. Yeah, uh, I'd like to hear Evan's information. Yeah, all five players that I've seen as minions in some way are now all dead. So... Uh, that's fine. Uh, I was the chambermaid. Night one, I checked Jeff and Christian and get a one, which lines up with him. Christian being the lunatic and Jeff being the minstrel. I tell them this after I have died. On day two, I go to both of them and tell them this. Um... <laughs> That's it. Can we get clarification on that? Is is does the, is the lunatic's ability does that occur on the first night? Night yes. one, Ed. Yeah. Uh, so the so the yes. I'll let you are correct, answer. Jeff. Thank you. Including about your yeah. neighbouring system. <laughs> I, I felt I had to do it. You brought me back. I had to be. <laughs> yeah. So that's because the the evil team waking up to each other doesn't count as their abilities, but yeah. it is the lunatic's yes, ability the lunatic to wake up and think of them. So, oh, yeah. So, Rich, do you want to have that chat? Uh, can I join? As Dave publicly claimed. Sorry, I went. Um, no, I haven't. But so, you d don't don't hate me. But I checked James um, as the fool. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with this. I mean, you're dead, right? So, worse, you're a minion. Uh, yeah. He's also not dead to his own ability because there's literally nothing in game that could have prevented one death. So the only thing I think could have happened, but I'm not sure if this is helpful or not, is that Nadine was killed, and then they only killed one player uh, because they wanted to incriminate me via Ben's um, Ben's. Gotcha. Basically, everyone else, everyone alive is somewhat suspicious, right? Yeah. Ben T is the least, I think, because Ben what? T is a, supposedly the grandchild. It, exactly. And I think they were hoping to use the death of Nadine and possibly someone else, uh, or possibly no one, to basically um, say, "Oh, it's Rich. We, we've got a gossip kill. Rich is the demon." Why is Why is Law alive? Indeed. Right. And why is Simon alive? Uh, well, he's a spent court. Just a useless. Right, but you can. You can. The the demon would have known. Oh, but the demon knows that the the, the courtier didn't work because they were still acting. 
on assassin for god knows what reason. Well, here's hoping you two are good. That's, well, think... we have to be, right? I don't, I don't see in any world where we can be both evil. Um, Ev Evan, Evan, Evan may be evil, but that was a harsh thing for him to die night one or night two <laughs> as a minion. Should we jump back in the main chat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and obviously nothing happened from that. The only time that I think the death happened was when I did the half of the, the town. Um, and then my claim last night, yesterday, sorry, I should say, uh, was that Richie was the the uh, the demon. Yeah, and obviously dead. we didn't get any extra call. We didn't get anything extra from that. And obviously they don't died in the night, so yeah. that's obviously not helpful. Uh, which is the innkeeper? I'm immensely suspicious of law now. I'm mm. still, yeah, I think if well, when well, people well, died, I think one died because of the gossip claim. It, and the it, fact it, that Law is still alive. Mm. Daniel, did you say Rich is the innkeeper? You know, if, unless he's the innkeeper, I'm very suspicious of Law because there's no reason he shouldn't have died and Christian picked him and Dave. Who Who is the innkeeper? There is I, no innkeeper, I'm just yeah, saying. There is right, yeah. unless, unless there is one who could have protected Law. If it helps. I'm suspicious of him because the demon willingly chose not to target him. So, um, I, so I think Ben T's gossip statement when it's between Thea and Christian was the what that caused the kill. So the only two people there who are demons are Simon and Law. Now, Simon are open. Sorry, please count. Uh, so, uh, before we go uh, any further, I think this is the time to say, please don't gossip. No, it's, hang on, uh, we've got no, six, haven't we? No, this is the night to gossip. Yeah, gossip mm. will likely like, well, target the winning team. Gonna if we're going to lynch, please don't gossip. I mean, at the time for caution was when we shouldn't have wasted mm. a day in a lynching Nadine. I think we, we should. Can I, I, I still think Nadine is evil. Too. Can, Me too. Uh, can Ben at night. make a nomination on Law? Ben T nominates Law. Ben, tell us why you've done that. Just from discussing uh, and from what I've gleaned through my information uh, just seems to be the most suspicious person in the town at the moment so um, just putting it out there just to see what people think of this one really Okay, Law, your response Sure, well, I haven't had a very informative game I've checked Theodora, Mooch, Daniel and Simon and I was going to check Ben T tonight which I think could be very useful because I think he might be the demon, and apart from that, that's all I know really. I've only really found things out from other people. Why, why didn't you check like, Richard, curiously? Why didn't I check you? Yeah. Because you're dead. No, last night, with your access power. Oh, because when I asked people who to check, people said Simon or Ben T. Okay. Simple as. So I'll check opinion, you if you like. You had, no, you had no opinion on it yourself? Um, to be honest with you, I I don't know a lot of information right now. I mean, you should feel you have a lot, right? There there are four people for whom you think are not the demon. Well, there are people that I think are the demon, and I who think, do you think is the demon? I think it's either Ben T or Simon. But you say you if it's, if it's, I, I'm trying to think about how it could be James, but surely he's the fool. Ben T so. is confirmed by the dead grandmother as the gossip, which is what he's claiming. And also, you said you just checked Simon. Yep. Yeah. Let's kill Law. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's kill him. Three votes required if you wish to execute Law. In three, two, one. I would love it if people didn't force us to use dead votes on this, but I suspect we're going to have to. Yeah, Simon, not the right. Yeah, Simon, why aren't you voting for this? I left my seat. Because he's a junior. I don't know, I don't know. Ben, I, I used my... my seat. Ah, oh, yes, you don't know. Ben, I used my ghost oh. for yesterday. Uh, oh, sorry, who's saying that? It's Oliver. Okay. I, I tried to vote for law yesterday, but... Yeah, I didn't realise I, I was out of my seat. Sorry, that's my fault. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five votes for law. Five is enough. Uh, Do we have any other nominations? Yeah, uh, Evan's dead vote on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't want it to be tiable by evil. That, that's, that's enough. 
so with four evil votes, uh, a good player would have to vote for this. So if there is another uh, nomination, I strongly advise no good players to vote for this. Do we have any other nominations? I mean, I'm, I'm happy to die. Okay, bringing the day to a close then. In three, two, one. Okay, law is executed. <clears throat> and... I can now confirm that he does not die. Ha <laughs> ha! Everyone goes to sleep. What? Yeah, that, I, I, that has to be the DA, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for the audio clip. Although, uh, it may, it may be, depending on who you played it for, it may be a little premature. <laughs> because there is no, there is no rip in peace today. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting situation now. Yeah. Because I'm not sure that the evil team can swing this, even... I'm just going to assume, guys, that you are applauding me and Ed. I mean, darling, naturally. <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing. Um, the good team, the evil team are in a terrible position. Yep. They're almost certainly going to lose tomorrow. I do not feel bad about resurrecting Nadine. Agreed. Uh, depending on what kills we get, because... Uh, oh, actually, no. It's, it's physically impossible for Evil to lose tonight. So yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah. So <clears throat> Nadine's coming back to life. Uh, Simon has got to protect himself, and he really doesn't want to. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the the resurrection does that happen on the Shabaloth's turn? Because if it does, that means Nadine gets to use her ability. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it, does, it happens. Right? It happens at the point that Shabaloth acts. Alright, cool. Let's go speak to Simon then. Simon, hello. Ah, uh, hello. Well, this isn't looking very good. I know it's not looking good. Um, I mean, I don't mind dying if I do get executed, of course, so I think I'm going to pick... Okay, hang on, so there's six players left alive. It's going to be... It should be two deaths in the night. So it's four... I'll, I'll pick Jeff. Okay, thank you. Alright, thank you very much. Moving on. <sighs> Law. Hello. It is, it is quite the testament to your resilience that this is still going, because you have been, like, fighting in a corner for, like, the last two hours straight. Yep. <laughs> what, who's it going to be tonight? It's pretty, pretty nuts. Um. Oh man, oh man, to go for Ben T or not is a big one. Um. Uh, if mm, shit. Uh, excuse my language. That's I right. think I'm going to go for. Daniel and Jeff. Right. I'm probably going to regret that, but there you go. Okay, thank you very much. No worries. Moving on. <clears throat> hey, Nadine. Hello. Got some good news for you. You're Am alive. I back? You are back. Do you want to use your ability? Yes. Yes, I do. Ah, uh, let me have a think. I wasn't expecting this. Okay. Um, 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 um. Let's go for ah Benty. Okay, thank you very much. All right, moving okay. on. Um, I, th I think that's a lot, right? Yep. Nothing else to do. So, um, yeah, this gives Evil uh, a chance. But not a massive one. She yeah. had to hit... Yeah, she had to hit someone that Law didn't, and it's now all on James to nominate Law, which, I mean, I think that makes sense from the Evil team's perspective, because James is the other one that looks shady. You've got a confirmed Devil's Advocate in play, and he didn't die from an execution. And yeah. he didn't die from an execution from someone you you are certain is evil. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
this is a really cool photo finish. I still, I will be very surprised if people win this. Um, oh yeah, I'll be stunned if people win this. Also, um, if uh, yeah, I, it's I, something that I think had no reason not to protect himself, but um, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, I think that was the right choice. Uh, protecting somebody who's resurrected, it just makes them look like potentially an evil player, right? It's it's tenuous, but who who yeah. else are you going to pick really? Maybe James, maybe. Um, in, yeah. in hindsight, it would have been nicer if he'd have picked James, I guess, because at least that uh, gives the evil team a bit more, well, nicer from their perspective. But yeah, I think we've got a nice balanced finish here, and, and uh, I think it's fair to say, and most people who play Blow and Clocktail will agree, that Bad Moon Rising is a very difficult game to balance um, as storyteller, or storytellers, as the case may be. A lot of the time it will end early, um, a lot of the time it will end quickly. Um, this, I think, has been a really good game of Bad Moon Rising. I've really enjoyed this. And I think it's showcased exactly why I love this script. It's it's the, that right mixture of chaos and common sense. And when you've got 15 guys who are... Who, some of them are saying they're not that experienced, but the truth is these guys are quite experienced. And, and they've just played a really, really awesome game. And I think, yeah, rounds of applause are, are fair because of the, it's been entertaining, hasn't it? It really has. Anyway, sorry, I'm just monologuing now. Uh, let's go to the town square. Like a cartoon villain, just monologuing. <laughs> 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 yeah, He-Man! Interesting that you went for He-Man. Yeah. Tell the Switch generation. Um, <laughs> Who else am I going to go for? Maybe Skeleton Warriors! That's, that's a nice oh. obscure one that nobody else remembers, I bet. And that's also just a great thing for the whole town to be hearing as they're dragged back from their cottages. Yeah. Skeleton warriors! <laughs> Alright, welcome back everybody. Um, okay, hang on, let me make sure I don't screw this up. So, uh, Ben T died in the night. Daniel mm -hmm. died in the night. Jeff died in the night. Nadine came back to life. Yeah. Alright, yeah. we've just, we just got to kill all, right? You might be the only wow. living good player right now. And what was that third kill? The dude, you I'm have good. to dominate law. Wait, 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 wait. Let's so, consider this for a moment. Yes. Yep, Why? Time, guys. Why nominate me? I'm, I'm really confused. Because law is the only player we can kill. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if, Randy, it, yeah. if the demon isn't law, then the demon We've is lost. the today, and there's no yes. point. Hmm. Um, just, just how did like three I people died. die yesterday? Yeah, so yeah, it must yeah, be yeah, assassin. I'm I'm like, I, did no, I did my gossiping, so it's nothing to do with me. And also, so the night we had four kills, that means it must be Shabalov, Gossip, and um, Moonchild. One of them. Moonchild. Moonchild. Yeah. So that means that that means it must be Law because the Gossip statement must be true because it must be between Law and Simon. And there's no way we can choose Simon because Law was protected by the DA yesterday. So the only person we can kill is Law. Yeah, I think I, th I think we... that that last that kill was assassin. They were hoping to win the game immediately. Katie was lying. Katie lied. She wasn't actually the assassin. She was like the mastermind or something. But and we Nadine could... was the assassin, I think, and got regurgitated no. and then used it again. No. no. Yeah, we're, paint, we're potentially ghost. painted into yeah. a corner here, aren't we? Law is the only person we can choose. We have, guys, yeah. we, have two, we have two options here. We could either go... cope it's Law and kill Law, or I believe we can no lynch and... And go for Simon. Hope for DA, uh, hope for Storyteller Kindness? Oh, <laughs> if, if, if someone that comes back to life... That's we'll not good. It would, it would have to kill the DA, which they won't do. No, but someone would have to come back to life. As well, yes. That's agreed. entirely... Yeah, they, they, I, 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 I don't want to rely on that, and I think it's law. Uh, I'm also thoroughly of the belief that, apart from Nadine, the three remaining people are evil. Yes, I agree. I, I think it might be our only option, yeah. I think I'm with Jeff that law is the only thing we can do right now. I think we are either going to win or lose, and if... I think You're going to lose. ...and us into a corner expertly. Expertly painted us into a corner. We cannot kill Simon because the DA will be protecting Simon or James, right? Oh, sorry, the demon is protecting the non, the the, the either the demon or the person, who, or they protected the demon when they protected Law. So there is no way we can kill the demon if it is not Law. I mean, Correct. it helps. I checked Simon. Cool beans. Two people died, so uh, it's not Simon. So it's you, Law. Uh, also, no. law uh, worth mentioning that you checked Simon before and there have been deaths that night. Yeah, but I didn't check Simon that time. Well, I checked James. Like, law, yeah. law already knows he's won, so. Like, no, he doesn't. No, oh, if Law's the demon, then he's lost. Yeah, if he's not the well, demon, he knows he's won. won. Agreed. So let's just, uh, I guess, nominate. Uh, Nadine, can you nominate Law for us? 
<laughs> you want me to nominate as you think I'm to do this. James somebody Ray. needs to somebody needs to bloody nominate me. Alright, well look, there's four of you alive, four of you can nominate, four of you can be nominated. Do we have any nominations? Uh James will uh, do you want me to nominate, or will you just go? Oh, well, he's nominating. Right? I mean, if you if you nominate Law, we'll all vote for Law. James will nominate Law. Okay, James has nominated Law. No, <laughs> Anything James. to add to this, James? Uh, basically, you you know the last day and this day and all the talk that's happened. That. Okay, Law, your defense, please. I mean, I played a pretty honest game, but I played a reclusive game. Wait. I Jeff, have... we can kill. So one, one second, please. Yeah, Let's just hear Law's defense. There um, will be time to jump in. I'm, I, I played a pretty honest game. I played a bit of a stupid game because I misread my role. Um, I have played it the way that I've said that I played it. I know for a fact who is and who isn't a demon. And I said that explicitly, and that's it. I guess if you vote for me, it's going to be a loss. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it yeah. seems like I'll, this I'll, is I'll, pretty I'll, much I'll, this is I'll, pretty I'll, much a done deal. So <laughs> I don't really know what to say. It's a loss I mean, for the evil team. Okay, anybody got anything to add? It can only we can only kill Law today. Yeah, this is the only time right. we can kill Law. We're doing it. He's not the demon. Then. Two votes required in three, two. I'm the goblin. <laughs> one. <laughs> Look at all Nadine. those. Nadine. Nadine. Look at all those. Nadine. The dean has to be evil. <laughs> Not the evil. I just pain. don't see why, I'm, I'm, why it has to be this. doing this. Because it, the the gossip kill killed killed when it was between Simon and Law, right? And so because of that, it, the demon could it's... we can only kill Law or the, or oh, Simon. Goes, and in that case, the DA protected yeah. Law yesterday, and therefore they'd have to go for Simon. They would protect Simon today, and we couldn't kill the demon. Yeah. Yeah. Only other I... option was no lynch and hope for vegetation. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten votes on Law. Uh, that cannot be beaten at nope. all. <clears throat> Law is definitely executed today. So, Law has been executed. Law dies. <gasps> the game is over. Congratulations, good guys. You made it. You won. Well, oh, thank yeah! you. <laughs> oh my god, I was so panicked then. <laughs> I really thought that was going to go the other way. I really thought that was going to go the other way. So, Kaylee's the mastermind? Well, I think um, I think we uh, yeah we'll have yeah. to do a big old uh, well we've got a round of applause yes thank you uh, thank you chat I think that really does deserve a round of applause as well guys because that was an awesome game of Bad Moon Rising I was just saying uh, before we went into this day I was saying to chat like Bad Moon Rising is a really difficult game to balance it's a really difficult game to play it's quite common that games will end very quickly very they'll be very chaotic no one will really know what's going on you guys some of you have said that you're a bit rusty or that you're a, you're a bit newbie or whatever but I think that you all played awesome in that game and it was balanced and down to the wire and yeah really like sincerely thank you very much we've got another round of applause oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm we're, the only one who can fans. hear it as well it's so bizarre it must be so bizarre for you lot we're, just... we're big fans of bad moon rising on the on the i don't uh, know you englanders um, <laughs> just server. got the englanders one as well sorry yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh right, sorry. I'm gonna keep one in. Right, we, we're doing we're doing a we are doing a roll call. So, <clears throat> James was the fool. Uh, you figured that out early. I'm somewhat surprised that Evil didn't try and exploit that a little bit more. But I suppose if you push a little too mm. hard, uh, you know, people are just gonna be like, you know, me think the lady doth protest too much. So, uh, James is the fool. Pretty much figured it out nice and early. Uh, Jeff was the minstrel responsible for the night of no deaths. Interestingly, uh, last night Jeff was both killed and also devil's advocated by Simon, the devil's advocate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Simon had a bit of a rough choice last night. He'd picked his yeah. uh, shabal off demon the night before, and really all he could do was try and sow a bit of discord and confusion. I think that I think that picking Jeff was the right move in that in that moment. Uh, Evan, I mean, if, if anyone but. Um... Law had been executed that day, would have won regardless, so it didn't really make a difference, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, more or less, yeah. Uh, Evan, the chambermaid, who sadly only got to have one night of information before he uh, kicked the bucket. Mm -hmm. Dave, the sailor, who was immortal and then drunk and then died. We had <laughs> Daniel, the professor, who sadly used his resurrection ability uh, on the one night when everyone was drunk. <laughs> uh, we had Kaylee, the mastermind, who... 
was the only actual minion that I showed to Christian the Lunatic as being minions. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, yep. uh, we, we were there to witness the conversation where Christian uh, started asking Kaylee questions and Kaylee did her very best to poison the well as much as possible. But unfortunately, um, kind of painted yourself That's into a corner there. Yeah, I think, yeah, it, I think you did quite well though because Christian, you did it right. You, you've got no reason to know this until I say it, until I tell you right now. But Christian legitimately spent another at least another couple of days um and ah and pondering before he actually came out as a lunatic so yep. i think what you did just gave just gave that little shred of confusion would you agree with I that did. christian oh yeah i did yeah and if i had approached either of the others first the game would have been up but i just happened to pick kaylee <laughs> who I, wanted yeah. to confuse me and I, was all, killed as well. I was already like everything was happening from all angles and then the lunatic play would just put me over the edge so i was like what am i what's happening <laughs> so so i thought i played terribly but never mind no, I someone, think you did very well. Someone should, someone should clip that because that is the sound effect that belongs with Sat Bad Moon Rising. It's just, yeah. I was sat there and then I was like, what's happening? <laughs> that is Bad Moon Rising right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Ben T, the gossip, who uh, you were correct in assuming that the night when we had four deaths, somebody said uh, one of them was the goth gossip. Uh, that's mm -hmm. correct. Two were the Shabaloth. And also, uh, Oliver the Moonchild was awoken and selected Christian which is what caused Christian the lunatic to die. Uh, Theodora, the tea lady, who at no point was protecting anybody because she was sat next to Simon, the devil's advocate. Yep. yep. <laughs> Although there was one day when Simon wouldn't have died because he DA'd himself. Uh, Richie, Ooh. the gambler, who uh, didn't cause any, did, did not cause himself to die from a gamble. Uh, that, that night he was killed by the Shabaloth. And we had Nadine, the assassin, who woke up last oh. night... <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> regurgitated and assassinated Benty. Uh, yep. And finally, we had Mooch, the grandmother, who uh, was the grandmother to Benty the gossip. And I believe that covers everything. Law is the Shabaloths. Uh, <laughs> Bluffs yes. were Goon, Exorcist, and Pacifist. Christian, oh. I've honestly forgotten which bluffs I gave you. Will you remind me what they are? Tinker, Innkeeper, and Courtier. Thank you very much. See, that, that made me think I was actually the demon, because I thought, if I was the demon, then you'd definitely give me Tinker as a bluff, because it's a terrible bluff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I thought, when, when you said, like, when you when I gave you those bluffs and you were like, one of those is bullshit, I thought, ooh, yeah, that's a bit unrealistic, maybe you'll figure it out too quickly, but I'm glad. I think that went pretty well. It, it, it went as well as anyone can reasonably expect a 15-player <laughs> game of Bad Moon Rising to go. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I would I also like point out, there were two beautiful moments um, from the point of view of people who knew. One was where where Jeff on the penultimate day went, no, we have to kill Law. We can't afford to kill Simon. And I was like, Jeff, you are the you are the minstrel, and you know yeah. you, you you just don't know who's devil's advocated right now. Um, and so he's like, you were ad ad adamantly campaigning to kill the only person you couldn't you didn't want to execute at that moment in time. Mm. I just realised James was the only good player alive at the end there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and you all yeah. thought it was Nadine. And, yeah. and James was like, "What? Well, nobody's going to trust me if I nominate. We were the only one we had. Well, listen, I, mean, uh, I was really hoping James would nominate literally anybody else. I, I know, so yeah. was I. I was thinking yeah. that there was so much shade on dead him. set on law at that point. I don't think it mattered who nominated him. Yeah, yeah. but the problem well, was that yeah, James But if, but if so James had nominated literally anyone else, it would have been game yeah. over. Yeah, then, then yeah. it would have been over. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I was Ooh, hoping... James won the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate to get a nomination in there beforehand. I just didn't Most think it would have player. done any good with all the suspicion on me. Uh, no, we yeah, were we, we, kind we, of as evil. We, we were in that situation a lot where we could have yeah. done some things, but it was very hard to get out of the rut that we were in. Yeah, you were painted yeah. into a corner, but we didn't we know. The thing that me into the corner was Christian picking me on the first night. I yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. On the back yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah I sorry, James. That, yeah, but that the is lunatic, the one that won the game. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, Christian the lunatic picked uh, Law and somebody else on night one. Law and Dave, uh, yeah. and th from that point onwards, the evil team were in serious trouble. And to be honest yeah, with yeah. you, it's a testament to evil's skill that they survived this long. It's true. <laughs> yeah, also, I, I, I was painted into such a corner because Evan came to me as the chambermaid saying. What role are you? And I was looking at all of the roles I was going to claim. I didn't get to talk to Law the whole game. I had no idea what the claims were. I was like, I'm just going to go for Tea Lady, even though I know the fear I'd already claimed it. 
I was like, you're going to battle it now. Kaylee, somebody in chat wants to know if you mind them posting the clip of you saying I had no idea what was going on in, in uh, yeah, the Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. There be you go, a... there you go, I guy, you got it. That's fine. One of my favourite <laughs> moments is because me and Nadine had a code. I just put in the chat, I'm suspicious of Jeff, which was code for Nadine, kill Jeff. <laughs> nice. Which I was very happy about because once Jeff died, I was like, she got the codes. Kaylee, you, wait, no, you... I missed that. I didn't Did get you? that. I didn't miss yeah. that. <laughs> that was also was... that was another entertaining point. Mo uh, Law clearly thought that uh, Nadine had used her ability as well because that's presumably why he killed her, and she sat there that night ready to use it and just didn't oh. get woken up. I was no, waiting for Law. I... To I, did, I actually, I like actually that. used it for pure subterfuge and confusion. Like I, I did it to throw, cool. and yeah, I, think, I think it worked quite well. Yeah, you couldn't leave oh. a pacifist alive. I don't think. Yeah. No. Oh, Nadine, I didn't know. I thought Jeff died that night. I thought you got the coat. <laughs> uh, sorry, no, nothing to do with me. That was you. How did Jeff Lock. die? Gossip, I presume. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because I was already painted into a corner. Right, I'm going to uh, wrap things up now then, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. We have been going for just shy of seven hours. I've got to uh, I've got to run more games in 11 hours' time uh, tomorrow for the UKG. Once again, one more time before we leave, uh, just want to point out that below the video on here, there is a big old button that says Try It Now. And you can click that and go and play in a game with me or Ed running it. Uh, you can sign up for one of those games and play. Uh, I would highly recommend you get signing up because I suspect that by the time it comes to play tomorrow, they will all be filled. So thank you very much for hanging out with us. Have a great evening or morning or whatever it is where you are. And don't forget that at 9pm BST tomorrow, we will be back on the stream with more UK groups which, and also an international game of Sects and Violets which will include some members of the Pandemonium Institute.